Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marvel. The domestically produced Superman becomes stronger after basking in the sun. Chapter 61. After General Zod arrived, he invaded Blue Star's network. Knowing many languages of Blue Star, but also mastering Blue Star's military strength. But at the same time, he also knew that it was in the sky of this planet. There are two people with the same ability. One is Superman, wearing the battle suit of the Al family. It was the great nephew he was looking for, Cal el The other, as stated by Superman himself, is Li Yan of his own race. However, the forces to which Li Yan belonged produced evidence to prove that he was not from Krypton. It's a pure, blue star oriental. On Krypton, whites make up the vast majority, and blacks make up the vast majority of the rest. People of the yellow race are very rare on Krypton. Krypton, appeared, just two or three passerby characters. But not for nothing. And almost all yellow races are at the civilian level on Krypton. Even, poor people. When Krypton is destroyed, these people, who simply don't have the ability, send their children away. This made Zod judge, that Li Yan of the Blue Star East. Definitely not Kryptonians. General Zod begins, the declaration of his arrival. I am General Zod from Krypton. For a long time, one of my clan has been hidden in your clan. I'm sure you already know that he is the Superman you call him. True name, Kal-El. Kal-El, you have violated Kryptonian law. I'll give you one day to surrender. Blue Star, if you dare to protect him, it will be a declaration of war against our Lone Star. General Zod made an extremely domineering announcement. Own arrival. On top of the Blue Star, in his own home, Clark, who was washing the dishes, watched the TV. The uncle of this family friend of mine. He sighed helplessly. The more he knows about Krypton, the more he understands. Krypton is powerful. Don't look at the Kryptonians at the end, they are stuck in Krypton. The entire civilization is destroyed in the destruction of the planet. However, the power of Krypton is beyond doubt. Otherwise, in the 100,000 years of the expansion era, Plant the flag of Krypton all over the stars. Clark raised his head and looked at the incomparably brilliant sun. Li Yan, although you lied to me, I hope you can help me. General Zod's ambitions are too great. His arrival will be a disaster for Blue Star. Clark turned to the sun and whispered. He has the same ability. Knowing, Li Yan can hear her own words. Clark took a breath, he decided to surrender to General Zod first. It would be best if General Zod could be persuaded to leave. But is it possible? Blue Star Sun, the young yellow fixed star. A godsend for all Kryptonians. At the moment, above the sun. Li Yan wanders here. How hot is the sun's surface? Li Yan read some popular science articles and videos in her previous life. Say, the temperature on the surface of the sun is 5,500 degrees Celsius. But Li Yan will tell those so-called experts and professors responsibly. They are all wrong. He puts himself here. Stepping on the energy storm of hundreds of thousands of degrees with both feet. The sun, all the time, is not undergoing nuclear fusion with an equivalent far exceeding tens of thousands of great Ivans. The terrifying energy released. That's why the sun glows. One of the conditions for nuclear fusion is the temperature of hundreds of millions. And its reaction, the terrifying temperature generated, is also in units of billions. So, the surface temperature of the sun is 5,500 degrees Celsius. Core temperature, 15 million degrees Celsius. Hee <laughs> hee. Li Yan is too lazy to complain. His body, relative to the volume of the sun. Incomparably small. Stand on the face of the sun. Walk. Run. Jump. Bathe in a multi-million degree solar flare. Sit in the hundreds of thousands of degrees sunspot. Every cell in the body. All are exuberant. Wanton devouring the endless and extremely strong solar energy. Bright silver light. Bloom in Li Yan's cells. Clark's voice calling to him. In his ears, it was extremely clear. Li Yan looked at Blue Star. Everything is like looking at the palm of your hand. Every detail is revealed. Look like a fire. It's time, it's time to get the space gem. Li Yan has no interest in Zod. For him at the moment. It's just an ant. At most, it can be regarded as a strong ant. And walk on the surface of the sun. Really appreciate the mighty power of the sun. He is more urgent. Go collect all six infinite gems. Then, in your own body. 
Plant hundreds of trillions of suns. Li Yan leaves the surface of the sun. Come to a place tens of thousands of kilometers away from the solar atmosphere. Just wanted to open a spark portal. Li Yan stopped this thought. I don't know, how fast is my at the moment speed? Li Yan thought, try your own speed. Target. Blue star. Li Yan's body moved. In an instant. Accelerated to the speed of light. A ray of sunlight running alongside him. A grain of photon in it. In Li Yan's eyes, it is relatively calm and upright. I reached the speed of light. Li Yan smiled lightly. He clearly felt that this was not his limit. Light speed. Break. Li Yan smiled confidently. The body speeds up. In an instant, he broke through the speed of light. Then, in his eyes, there are countless backflowing lights. That's his faster than light speed. That's why I saw that the light is flowing backwards. But what surprised Li Yan was. Time has not flown back. And the speed of light does not stop time. The power of time is too mysterious and vast. If the speed of light can really stop time. Then, light loses the meaning of speed. A supernova exploded a light year away. The light of the explosion came towards the blue star at the speed of light. If the speed of light really makes time stand still. Then light will no longer have the property of time. At the same time as the supernova exploded, the blue star will simultaneously witness this great moment. No, wait a year later. Time, there it is. Eternity flows. Whether it is the speed of light or faster than the speed of light. Just puts you within this second in the broad, temporal dimension. You can perceive longer and do more things. Instead, time is manipulated. Into the past or future. You need even greater power. For example, the flash's speed force. For example, the time energy manipulated by the time variation authority. And Li Yan. In superluminal state. He clearly saw the time of eternal wandering. As long as he wants, he can use his own power. Interference time. But Li Yan, no. Those who play with time will eventually be played by time. Li Yan chuckled and exited the FTL state. He has come near the moon. Sunlight shines on the blue star. It takes eight minutes. And he, in the superluminal state, only stayed for four minutes. Only twice the speed of sound. It's a bit slow. Li Yan sighed. I am on the evolutionary path of Superman. Still a child. Whoosh. In the next second, Li Yan returned to the blue star orbit. Like a turtle crawling, dozens of times the speed of sound. Return to the ground. General, Li Yan, who has the same ability as Superman, just appeared in the orbit of the blue star at super light speed. At this moment, it has returned to the ground. Fiora, General Zod's subordinate, reported urgently. General Zod's expression turned ugly for an instant. Reach faster than the speed of light in the flesh. He knows what that means. Through this period of time, invade the Blue Star Network and gain an understanding of the Blue Star civilization. He is interested in the East where Li Yan was born. Many philosophies are greatly admired. In martial arts in the world, everything is invincible, only speed cannot be broken. FTL flight, the phantom engines on their ships can do it. Even, their phantom engine has been able to reach the point of thousands of times the speed of light. But spaceships and people are not the same thing. Pass down, we only target Kal-El. Do not provoke the East, and their sun god. Eastern Emperor Tai, Li Yan. Yes. Fiora nodded. The Kryptonians on the entire spaceship are basking in the sun for strengthening. But who can compare to Li Yan who ran to the sun and absorbed an unknown amount of energy? General Zod is not stupid. As Krypton's top military expert. He clearly knows who he can't mess with. Unfortunately, the technology on Blue Star. Only Li Yan can be detected descending from the Blue Star orbit. And it can't be detected, if he returns to the Blue Star from the Sun. Shield Headquarters. Shet. You tell me, Li Yan walks on the surface of the Sun. Nick Fury at the moment, he was not in the mood to bother with the spaceship high above the sky. He believes that Eagle Sauce has Superman, enough to deal with it. What he cares more about is Ji Shuang. That Li Yan who has been sleeping for several months near the sun. He is so strong. Nick Fury, would love to be Mare Farkman. But soon, there was a piece of news that gave him even more headaches. Li Yan is back, etc. Nick Fury frowned. I didn't see that piercing solar star beam. Like, when Li Yan was in the orbit of the blue star and opened the portal near the sun. 
the one that appears. Director, according to the data sent back by the Parker Solar Probe, we detected the time when Li Yan appeared in the orbit of the Blue Star. Dash. We have come to a conclusion. Bald and bitter, staring at him. Explain. Director, it took him nearly four minutes to fly back to Blue Star from the Sun. His current flight speed is at least twice the speed of light. Nick Fury's one eye is full of horror and shock. He has reached twice the speed of light. Our Superman only uses the speed of sound as a unit of speed. Nick Fury's face was extremely ugly. He took out the BB machine whose signal range covered several galaxies. He feels that now is the time to summon the top combat power. When? The only thing that can fight against superluminal speed is superluminal speed. Nick Fury, press the BB machine and summon Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel has FTL though. But faster than the speed of light does not go to stagnant time. She is from the planet she parted from Li Yan. Fly back to Blue Star. It takes time. She couldn't open the portal, and didn't master the space jumping technique. Can only fly back to Blue Star. When she finally came to the edge of the solar system. Just received, Nick Fury's signal. She doesn't have supervision and can't see what's happening on the Blue Star. Just speed up and rush back. The return of Li Yan made the entire East breathe a sigh of relief. Face the threat of General Zod. Although Superman Clark is a gargoyle. But once you fight, the entire Blue Star will not be spared. Li Yan, are you sure about dealing with General Zod? Chen Zhang asked with a serious face. Tell them, don't worry. Li Yan channeled himself. I will keep the East safe. This sentence was photographed by S. Caliber. Broadcast on major TV stations. Seeing Li Yan's incomparably confident look. Say such overbearing words. The entire East is boiling. I finally don't have to be afraid. This makes me feel safe. Brother Sun God, I want to give birth to you. HMPH. We have living gods. Raise funds to build a temple for our brother Tai. His Kryptonian general Zod, come on. We in the East are not afraid of you. That's right. Come here and drag them all to dig coal. Kryptonian spacecraft in orbit of the Blue Star. General Zod looked at the heated discussions on the Eastern Network with a livid face. Fiora frowned and said. General, are you really like this, allowing them to laugh at you like this? General Zod is not a person who acts on his own will. Otherwise, he would not be able to take the position of General Krypton. Fiora, if, I mean if. Once our actions fail. You go to the east and go to G. As the only remaining woman on Krypton, if you can conceive Li Yan's child. Combine him and our Kryptonian excellent genes, perhaps, our family will give birth to a new god. A powerful god who belongs to our planet Krypton. Krypton is destroyed. Some man-made population control program Zod is no bird at all. If it weren't for that, Fiora was the only woman on his spaceship. Nor would he, he had to come here to get the code of life and the life incubator. Don't think about victory, think about defeat first. This is the basic quality of a top military strategist. General. Fiora frowned. She is the noble class of Krypton. Otherwise, she would not be able to become General Zod's female adjutant as a woman. And the F on her chest is her family's crest. On Krypton, only the upper class deserves to have a family crest. The Air family almost lost their family emblem and became the lower class of Krypton. The Zod family, and the Al family, have been married for many generations. Although Joel and Zod ended up fighting each other. But when he was young, he was a good brother who picked up girls. Fiora. General Zod said seriously. It's not just my order. That's my request too. Kal-El has been assimilated by the Blue Stars. He obviously has godlike power, but he is willing to be a savior. Look at that Li Yan. His country, his compatriots, are worshipping him like a god. Fiora. You must put Krypton's new life first. If you can't create a new Krypton, let our Kryptonian blood become the gods of this planet. Fiora had never seen Zod so serious. Even during the Kryptonian military rebellion, he was never seen so seriously. Fiora finally nodded. Li Yan didn't know that there was a Kryptonian woman who wanted to give birth to him. Because he was attacked by a group of unexpected enemies. Time Variation Authority. The ultimate black marinated egg in the universe, Institution 2 created by Conqueror Kong. C. 
Excalibur Bureau arranged a new residence for Li Yan. It used to be the residence of Hessian. Later it became Prince Gong's mansion. The East has turned this into a palace of museums and tourist attractions. It was refurbished and planted a large number of precious flowers and plants. Became Li Yan's new residence. For this arrangement, no one in the East objected. Instead, many people think that Li Yan lives here. They are more at ease. It's better than Yingjiang's Superman, who doesn't even know his real identity. If something goes wrong, I don't even know how to find him. Li Yan's first day in this new home. Shining bought an ancient red apron and said he wanted to wear it for Li Yan to see. Li Yan was expecting the moment when Blink would change. A portal of time and space just appeared in front of Li Yan. Then, a team in black uniforms came out from the gate of time and space. Li Yan looked at these people playfully. He recognized that this was a person from the Time Variation Administration. There are countless conquerors in countless planes. There are two most special beings. One, he was Conley the Conqueror, the most wicked of them all. Destroyed many parallel universes, killing those universes themselves. It was united by many conquerors Kong and imprisoned in the quantum universe. At the moment, Kong, the most evil conqueror, is still in the quantum universe, forming his own army. In the future, Harley will be killed by the Ant-Man family. There is another one, he thinks he is the best of all Kong Li. Say something for the peace of the multi-universe. In order not to let myself destroy the universe. He kills all Kangs. Then the Temporal Variation Authority was formed. Control time energy through your own research on time. Any travel in time. Then, destroy one by one, triggering an event that generates the time divided, 403, line. Kill the multi-universe in its infancy. Then, the time variation authority is full of timelines. Go around and stop any event that might create a new timeline. He hides at the end of time. Sure enough, the one that destroyed the world was the black marinated egg. Li Yan looked at the field team of the time variation administration that appeared. Laughed. Well, Yu Kong the Conqueror messed with me. Then I have a reason to erase all of you. What a boring world without multi-universes. I saw Li Yan looking at them with a smile. The leader, the braised egg fat ant. Pressed the button on the wrist, a watch. A huge amount of time energy surged out. The only thing that can affect time is time. Li Yan did not use the power of the time gem. He wanted to see if the time controller of the time variation administration could affect him. When time energy overwhelmed him, he noticed it, a strong bondage bound him. He can feel that the time around him has stagnated. However, Li Yan also felt the force of this time constraint. Not invincible. He can break free easily. Li Yan understood. Sure enough, time gem is condensed from the time source of this universe. There is endless time energy in it. So, the time gem can make the dimension Mephisto Dormammu fall into the time loop. Helplessly threatened by Sorcerer Supreme Strange, he gave up devouring Blue Star. But the time controller of the Time Variation Administration could not control him. Seeing that Li Yan has no resistance, he is bound by the stagnation of time. The leading fat ant with marinated eggs had a contemptuous smile on her face. Who? Return the god of the sun in the east. Haven't been caught by me. Take away. The chief will judge him himself. Yes. Two ordinary members took out super ability restricted handcuffs and put them on Li Yao. Then it's time to pick up Li Yan and bring him back to the time variation authority. However, those two members used the strength of breastfeeding. Li Yan didn't move at all. Braised egg fat ante, I noticed something was wrong. However, it's too late. With just a slight struggle, Li Yan broke free from the shackles of time energy. And the super ability restriction bracelet on his hand. There is no way to have the slightest effect on him. As I said before, Li Yan's strength comes from his incomparably strong body. Any means of restricting superpowers will not be of any use to Jiju. Li Yan just touched the two ordinary members who were about to lift him up. In an instant, they were shocked into a blood mist. The other members of the Time Variation Authority used weapons in their hands. Similar to an electric baton. It is said that it can erase people from the time dimension. In fact, it sent people to the end of time. There are terrifying time storms and time ghosts. No one survives except Loki. Li Yan just took a breath. 
The absolute zero cold wind blew on all the people of the Time Variation Administration. They are instant. It became ice sculptures one by one. And being blown, they entered the time and space gate when they came. Not sure, by the means of the Time Variation Authority. Can these people be saved? However, Li Yan doesn't have the time yet to deal with Kong the Conqueror's ultimate stewed egg in the universe. But facing the time and space gate. Endless and bright golden hot eyes poured in surgingly. The Time Variation Administration is not in this universe. That is an independent hour space attached to the time dimension. Therefore, Infinite Gems belongs to the Time Variation Management Bureau, which is separated from the original universe. Naturally, it becomes a beautiful stone without power. Loki, this idiot, was shocked into a dog's head. I feel that I have found the most powerful force in the universe. In the universe, the most powerful force is always only yourself. So, Li Yan is looking for infinite gems, not thinking. Infinite gems are the most powerful. He just wants to use infinite gems, inside himself. In each cell, a space is opened up. Then put in a young sun. From then on, he doesn't care what time and space in the universe he is in. Will remain strong. Infinite gems, entering another universe, will only become beautiful stones. Because, infinite gems, but the essence of the universe is condensed. But the origin of the universe is not the same. Li Yan followed the time-space gate opened by the Time Variation Administration. After shooting the thermal site for a full minute, the time-space gate disappeared. Li Yan chuckled and urged the time gem. Everything in the room was back to normal. Next, it's the two-person world of Li and Shining. Inside the Time Variation Authority. Burning flames everywhere, and explosions. Li Yan's heat vision is fully fired. Not just the terrifying high temperature of nearly tens of millions of degrees. At the same time, it also has great impact. The entire Time Variation Authority is almost divided into two halves by the heat site. The temperature of the entire small space has risen a lot accordingly. Countless time mutation authority, who survived. We are all working hard to put out the fire and provide disaster relief. What just happened? Why? Our time variation authority will be attacked. Who is attacking us? It's not good, the time criminal we locked up, escaped. Alert. Alert. A large-scale fluctuation in the sacred timeline has been detected. How far the universe is being created. Blessings never come singly, misfortunes never come singly. Right after Li Yan split the Time Variation Authority in half. The prison of the Time Variation Administration was also destroyed. Those life forms that were captured while creating the timeline. Taking advantage of this opportunity, most of them escaped. They returned to their own timeline. Then continue to complete your unfinished mission. The so-called sacred timeline is being destroyed. The multi-universe is being born. Blink is a mutant, but it's just immortal. She was already tired and sleeping in Li Yan's arms. Li Yan, who had her eyes closed, suddenly opened them. He felt the existence of the multi-universe. This was something he had never felt before. And, he had a feeling. His own spark portal seems to be able to open a portal to other parallel universes. Multi-universe travel is no longer a dream. Li Yan closed his eyes. Conqueror Kong, you are really a fool. Preventing the birth of the multi-universe, it seems that the idea of killing you is right. Li Yan's hand, shoulder. In the fortress at the end of time. Conqueror Kong stared at the scene in the Time Variation Administration with a silvery gaze. Li Yan, it seems that you are the biggest obstacle to the peace of the universe. Very well, it looks like I'm going to get rid of you first. Clark is wearing the family battle suit appeared in a certain military base. General Lois looked at Superman with a calm face. Have you figured it out? Really surrender. General Lois, knowing that Superman saved his daughter's life. Not so hostile to Superman, who regards Superman as the biggest threat to Blue Star. Clark nodded and said, although I am a Kryptonian, I grew up on Blue Planet. I'm also a child of Blue Star. I will persuade General Zod to leave Blue Star. Superman has his own beliefs. Good. General Lois nodded. Nick Fury steps out from behind General Lois. Superman, I brought you a helper. With Nick Fury's voice down. A ray of light flew from outside the sky. Captain Marvel, Carol lands in front of everyone. General Lois took a deep look at Nick Fury. 
He didn't expect that Nick Fury would have such a trick. Invite a superpower who is very powerful at first glance. Hi. Carol said hello to Nick Fury and asked. Is it because of that spaceship that you sent me the signal? Nick Fury definitely won't say, I called you back, it's for Li Yan. He nodded and said. Yes, Blue Star is facing a war with aliens. Carol nodded. Look at Superman. Who are you? General Lois introduced. This lady, he is Superman, the Asgardian of our Blue Star. Carol was taken aback, and said in surprise. Isn't Superman Li Yan? What about others? Blue Star is in danger, isn't he here? Has he not returned from Asgard? A string of questions from Carol. It made Nick Fury's face darken instantly. The worst happened. My greatest reliance, Carol Danvers. Captain Marvel. I actually met Li Yan. Look at the way she asked about Li Yan, her eyes glowed. I'm afraid it's emotional. How could such a thing happen? Nick Fury really wanted to ask God. Are you still going to bless the eagle sauce? General Lois said with some embarrassment. He's the Superman now. As for Li Yan, he is now the sun god of the east. God. Carol smiled and said. That's not bad, he is stronger than ordinary gods. Lois and Nick Fury's eyes widened. What does this mean? Does God really exist? Clark said. Before Li Yan was sleeping near the sun, he has returned. If you're looking for him, go east. Dong Fong gave him a residence in a former palace after repairs. It should be called Prince Gong's mansion. You can find it when you go to the east. Even though the entire east said, Li Yan is not a Kryptonian. But Clark still stubbornly believes that Li Yan is his Kryptonian brother. In this crisis, he didn't want to get involved. After all, Zod was coming for him. Carol nodded. Looking at the Kryptonian spaceship overhead. Can you handle it? Clark nodded. I can handle it. Carol flew away. Just an alien spaceship, Carol thought, not a big deal. Nick Fury looked at Carol who flew away, his expression became more gloomy. When Carol came to Prince Gong's mansion, Lee was not there. Blink looked at the foreign woman in front of her. Eyes full of vigilance. Who are you? Carol could smell Li Yan's breath flashing on her body. Her eyes were a little dark. I'm here to find Li Yan. I want to call him, let's deal with the alien spacecraft together. Carol thinks he is 2.2, and he has found a brilliant excuse. Blinking frowned. Li Yan went to fetch something. Are you going to wait for him to come back? Carol thought about it and nodded in agreement. Eagle Sauce. Joint Dark Energy Research Headquarters. From the 1990s, the bald meatball experienced the events of Captain Marvel. After the Yuan Devourer spit out the Tesseract. Tesseract is stored here. Joint Dark Energy Research. Is the second phase of Tesseract Research. The level 1 stage is to guide out the energy inside and use it. The second stage is to weaponize it. Noel, a scientist of the Carey Empire, alias is Dr. Lawson. Use the energy in the Tesseract to study the light speed engine. The result, Captain Marvel. When Phil Coulson died, he shot Loki, which is the result of the research here. At the moment, in a research room hundreds of meters underground. Tesseract is mounted on an energy channeling device. This device is directing the energy of Tesseract out. Then condense into energy blocks emitting blue light one by one. All of a sudden, the siren blared throughout the base. Alert. Alert. Super energy invasion detected. Combatants, prepare to defend against invasion. The staff in this laboratory became busy one after another. Quick, put the tesseract in the vault. A person in charge just called out. However, the ceiling above the head was suddenly melted by a golden light. Li Yan, who was dressed in golden crow armor, fell lightly. Take a look at the equipment here. Li Yan sneered. Tesseract has given you shield for so many years, and it hasn't improved at all. Until now, the equipment of World War II Hydra is still used. Useless things. See, everyone recognized Li Yan. His Highness the Eastern Sun God. The Tesseract is the property of our shield. The person in charge said bravely. Li Yan stood on the ground and reached out to the machine. No one dared to stop it. Let Li Yan take down the Tesseract. Since, Tesseract belongs to your shield. Just you, do you deserve it? For these ants, Li Yan was too lazy to kill them. He lightly grasped the tesseract, which was regarded as a treasure by countless people. Broken in an instant. No. 
Everyone in the laboratory let out an exclamation. His eyes were full of regret. This is Tesseract. Tesseract with unlimited energy. But what shocked them was. Li Yan actually took out a beautiful little stone with blue light from the broken Tesseract. Tesseract, it's just a shell. A zone that allows people to borrow space gems without bearing the load. But the space gem inside it is the real magic. Li Yan squeezed the space gem and moved closer to his golden crow armor. At one corner of the six-pointed star, there is a suction force. Space gem, firmly up the adsorbent. Green, blue, purple. Three infinite gems, emitting light at the same time. The terrifying energy of the three gems flows through Li Yan's body. But Li Yan, didn't feel any discomfort. For him now, the load of three gems is nothing at all. Li Yan closes her eyes and senses the space gem. He sensed, the entire space of the universe. He can go anywhere he wants. However, it cannot go to other universes. The power of infinite gems is only in this universe. Other universes, there are infinite gems for other universes. Just like, the infinite gems crusher can only crush the infinite gems in this universe. Li Yan wants to pick up mind gem. But I don't know the location of purple sweet potato essence. Unless, he holds the psychic or soul gem. However, he could sense the location of wall star. On the golden crow armor, the blue space gem lit up. A space vortex appeared behind Li Yan. He stepped back and left blue star. Arrived on the hammered planet, Vomir star. 06. Here, there used to be an ancient and splendid civilization. But with the planet damaged. A huge amounts of potholes, straight to the core of the earth. The energy leaked from the core of the earth caused a splendid cosmic spectacle. This planet has become a dying planet. Also become, the channel leading to the plane of soul. Soul gem, right here. The guide of soul gem, Red Skull was startled suddenly. He felt the scent of the space gem. Someone has come looking for the soul gem. His eyes contained endless envy, jealousy, and anger. Once, he was also the owner of the space gem. Until, when he touched the cosmic gem with his hand. Selected by soul gem, become the guide of soul gem. Teleported here by the space gem. He has become the strange existence that is now attached to soul gem, no matter how human or expensive he is. When Li Yan appeared, Red Skull greeted him. He uses gems to grant his abilities. The whole universe, paternity test. Just about to cast it, two golden lights containing terrifying energy shot out from the eyes of the person in front of him. Instantly evaporate the rocks beside him. Shut up. Red Skull. Red Skull was taken aback. You are from Blue Star. His gaze was fixed on the space gem on Li Yan's chest. Li Yan said. Soul gem, other than exchanging souls for souls, is there any other way to get them? Red Skull was surprised that Li Yan knew how to obtain soul gem. Perhaps, soul gem is the most difficult and easiest infinite gem to obtain in the universe. Just come here and offer your beloved soul. You can get infinite gems. But, for some people, he has no beloved soul to offer. Purple Sweet Potato loves her adopted daughter Gamora deeply. Therefore, Purple Sweet Potato Essence shed tears and sacrificed her. But Li Yan is sure that in this world, I don't have a love of my own. He just likes flickering, not love. Red Skull says. There is only one way to get Soul Gem from here. Soul for soul, this is the rule. Definitely, if someone else gets the Soul Gem from here, you can snatch it. Li Yan stood on the edge of the sacrifice cliff. He took a deep breath, supervision, fully open. Perspective, farsightedness, vision. He sees everything here. Then, he saw countless souls. Just above the sky of this planet. The gate to the plane of soul is open. Souls from all over the universe enter the plane of soul from here. And the soul gem is hidden here, among the hundreds of millions of souls. Li Yan frowned tightly. Now he is physically invincible. But the soul does not lose what he is good at. From that myriad of souls, seek out and lock down the soul gem. At present, he cannot do it. I can't do it, maybe someone can. Li Yan snorted coldly, and opened a space door. Ancient One looked at the space door in front of him and was stunned for a moment. Come over. This is. Ancient One quickly discovered the extraordinary here. She stared at the gate of the plane of soul. Also found traces of soul gem. Ancient One tried to locate the soul gem. But in the end, she still failed. How about it? Li Yan asked. No. 
Although I am a sorcerer supreme, spells involving the soul level are taboo. I'm not good at it. I can't lock the location of the soul gem. It seems that you can only follow its rules. Ancient One said helplessly. As soon as she came, she understood the rules for obtaining soul gem. Li Yan snorted coldly. Exchange my beloved soul for soul gem. This broken gem is not so important. Li Yan opened the portal. Let's go, I'll let someone else do the heavy lifting. Ancient One followed Li Yan and returned to Blue Star. Kamar Taj. Soul gem is the most special one among infinite gems. You are the first person to have three gems at the same time. Perhaps you have felt it. Whether it's a time gem, a space gem, or a power gem. They all passively obey the manipulations that hold. As long as you can charge their energy, you can use them. However, soul gem is different. It has a sense of self and a hungry soul. To obtain soul gem, you must sacrifice a soul. And when you use soul gem, your soul is also coveted by soul gem. Ancient One said to Li Yan. Li Yan frowned. So, when you gaze into the abyss, the abyss also sees you. He has an invincible body, physically, never afraid of anything. And his body's magic resistance has also been strengthened. He is also learning the spells of Kamar Taj. But the soul. Li Yan has to admit that is one of his weaknesses. However, my own infinite Superman template gives a solution. His infinite strengthening is comprehensive. If the soul is not strong, then bask in the sun of the soul. Just like in Asgard, basking in the magic sun, one's own magic attributes have been strengthened. Just now, the spiritual plane where those souls go. It should have a soul sun. Teacher, do you understand the plane of soul? Ancient one nodded and said. There are many planes attached to our universe. For example, God is real, he lives in the plane of heaven, and the angel family lives there. There is also a plane of hell, and many Mephistas in hell are coveting the world and trying to occupy it. The main defense of the Dor Kamar Taj is the invasion of the planes and the invasion of the Mephistas. Quote. For example, the dark dimension Mephista, Dormammu. Each plane is an independent world. Some are huge, some are small. Different planes have different forms of existence. The plane we saw just now is the plane of soul. It is the place where the soul belongs after death. But such the plane of soul is not the only one. Hell and heaven also have such attributes. There is also the kingdom of death, which is the seal place of Gila, the goddess of death. Li Yan frowned and said. Mr. Ancient One, what I need is the plane of soul with a unique sun. Like the enchanted sun of Asgard. I need a special sun with soul attributes. Ancient One understood Li Yan's thinking through the growth of Li Yan's magical ability. Actually, you don't have to look for the sole attribute of having the sun. Thanks to you, the endless multi-universe is back. In the endless multi-universe, there exists a universe of souls. The life composition of that universe is all souls. I think that the sun of the universe should meet your requirements. Li Yan's eyes lit up, and said. Take me. He just needs to bask in these special suns and absorb their energy. To understand their nature. In the future, hundreds of trillions of solar hours will be planted in your body. Part of the special sun can be planted. Ancient One nodded. How far into the universe she has traveled, it is not difficult. Ancient One casts a spell. Find that soul universe from the endless multi-universe. Then, Ancient One opens a spark portal. The two entered this soul universe. The powerful cosmic assimilation power wants to assimilate them from flesh and blood to soul. Li Yan frowned. The intrusion of the power of cosmic assimilation made him feel very uncomfortable. Doctor Strange and the little girl from America with the multi-universe ability. Their bodies are very weak. It can be instantly assimilated by the power of cosmic assimilation in the process of shuttle. But Li Yan is different. Ancient One casts a spell, disguised as a shell of soul power. Deceived the power of cosmic assimilation. This world with him. Our world is almost the same. There are Superman, Iron Man, etc. But they are all in the state of soul body. Seeing Superman, Li Yan felt relieved. The soul body Superman in this world can bask in the sun and become strong, so he can too. Place yourself under the sun of this cosmic blue star. A special fixed star energy was absorbed by his body. He felt the growth of his soul. That's 100 million times more exciting than taking drugs. 
in comparison, the happiness of men and women is nothing. And here, Ji also had insight into the nature of the sun. A smile appeared on the corner of Li Yan's mouth. Mr. Ancient One, we can go back now. Ancient One opens the spark portal. The two came quietly and returned quietly. Drinking tea from Ancient One. Li Yan reminisced about the refreshing feeling of being strengthened in the soul. Mr. Ancient One, is there a magical plane? A spiritual plane? Although, Asgard's magical son is able to strengthen his magical attributes. But that is not a naturally born magic son. Created by Asgard through magic. Li Yan believes that its strengthening effect on itself is far inferior to the magic son of the real magic universe. Now that it has been chosen, Li Yan will be relied on for Kamar Taj in the future. Ancient One will naturally cooperate to the end. Some. Ancient One is short and to the point. Take me. Li Yan looked excited. The Ancient One opens a portal to the magical universe. The two entered this universe, because the life forms in this universe are also made of flesh and blood. It has not been attacked by the power of cosmic assimilation. Basking in the sun of this universe. Li Yan felt the crazy improvement of his magic attributes. Next. Li Yan said. Ancient One casts the spell again. The two came to the spiritual universe. The life that exists in the spiritual universe is also flesh and blood. However, all life in this universe possesses the power of mind. The way of communication is also through the power of the mind. In the light of the spiritual sun, Li Yan only thinks of his mutant ability. The mental barrier is becoming stronger in madness. At the same time, it is also deriving new spiritual abilities. Let's go back. The essence of two special suns is analyzed successively. Li Yan's super brain also needs to rest. Return to Kamar Taj. Li Yan is even more eager to collect six infinite gems. Li Yan, General Zod, do you want to take action? Asked Ancient One. Hasn't he invaded Blue Star yet? If Clark can't stop me, I'll make a move. Li Yan said casually. Anyway, as long as you don't fight in the East. He doesn't care. Ancient One nodded, since Li Yan promised to make a move. That's fine. Behind Li Yan, a space door appeared. Wrap him up. He returned to his palace courtyard. Ancient One looked at the sky quietly. I don't know, I help him, right? Li Yan, who came home, looked at Carol who was sitting there, having an awkward chat with Shining. Some surprises. Aren't you going to help Ying Zhang, deal with Lan Xing spaceship? What are you doing here? Seeing Li Yan, Captain Marvel was a little excited. After all, not everyone can pin her on the lap and spank her. Super. Li Yan, I want to come with you to deal with that alien spaceship. Carol felt that the reason he was looking for was the next day. That's about your gargantuan, Superman is your gargantuan, and Zod also wants someone from your gargantuan. What did you come to see me for? Li Yan felt baffled. Suddenly, he frowned. A space door suddenly opened in front of him. In the raging fire, accompanied by the cry for help. This is a high-rise building in Shanghai, and suddenly a fire broke out. There are hundreds of people, trapped. Li Yan stepped into the space door in one step. Leave a voice. I still want to save people, I don't have time to take care of your eagle sauce. The space door is closed. Shining was delighted, and said to this Carol who offered to deliver to her door. You see, Li Yan is our patron saint of the East. He's busy saving people, the aliens, I'd better get rid of you Shi Kong. Shining was still enthusiastic, and helped Captain Marvel, who has the superlight flight ability, open a portal to Eagle Sauce. Through the space door, Li Yan appeared outside the burning building. His figure was seen in an instant. It's Brother Tai. The Sun God. The Sun God is here to save people. Those people are saved. Ha ha ha. As soon as Li Yan made a move, there was a small fire, it's not a problem at all. How can you call God's real name? You should call Sun God, or Big Brother Tai. Understood, you are just looking for an opportunity to hit me. The busy firefighters also breathe a sigh of relief. This building has, there are 60 floors. The location of the fire is on the 1300th floor. That's more than 100 meters high. It is very difficult to put out the fire. And in this building, the people trapped on it looked at the figure outside the window. Everyone is relieved. Very good. We're saved. The sun god has come to save us. Woo. 
Brother Tai, I want to give birth to you. HMPH. Look at your weight, if you want to give birth, I will give birth to Brother Tai. 45th floor, inside the day lounge. Several people are hiding here. One of them is the great power of this world. Yang M.I. It is the same as the world before Li Yan traveled. At this point in time, she's already famous, but she's not big yet. This floor, and the next two floors. It is the office area of Sugarman Film and Television Production Company. Yang M.I. came today because the other party invited her to participate in the filming of Paladin 3. She's here to sign the contract. However, right after the contract was signed, who knew, the 33rd floor suddenly burst into flames. It made her fall into despair. However, I saw the figure outside. Her internal breath, immediately settled down. The ancient oriental country, the first superhero. No. He is the god in countless young people's hearts. Among them, she is also included. In this world, there are superheroes. The stars can only come second. Li Yan did not start the rescue immediately. He swept his eyes. Full perspective. The situation in the entire building is clear. Li Yan's eyes turned cold. High-end office buildings like this all have automatic fire extinguishing systems. Ordinary fires can't happen at all. But under Li Yan's perspective, the fire suppression system was damaged. And in the burning 33 floors, there are quite a few combustion aids. This is obviously a man-made arson. Facing the burning 33rd floor, Li Yan breathed out lightly. The cold wind of tens of degrees below zero was poured into the entire 33rd floor in an instant. He was afraid that there were still people on this floor, so he didn't use a lower temperature. But his breath, despite gasoline and other combustion aids, it was also completely extinguished directly. Even the entire 33rd floor is wrapped in a layer of ice. There is absolutely no possibility of sparks or something, causing a second fire. Seeing the fire go out in an instant. On the ground, countless people began to applaud. Good job. Great. Those people have been saved. Brother Tai Hale. Sun God. Sun God. Countless people shouted in unison. Li Yan did not enter the 33rd floor to check. Don't worry about this. He entered the 34th floor. Many people who were trapped here surrounded them one after another. Brother Tai, thank you. A 17 or 18 year old girl just offered a kiss. Sun God, I am your believer. A young man with the face of Li Yan printed on his t-shirt. Without you, we'd all be burned. Thank you for saving us. Brother Tai, I want to give birth to you. Many of the people who work in such high-end office buildings are young and beautiful girls. One by one, they stared at Li Yan with fiery eyes. To save a life, you should promise it with your body. Tradition left by the ancestors. Even though Li Yan has an indestructible body. I also feel that the eyes of these girls are too hot. He opened a space door that leads directly to the ground. You guys get out of here. The men, all excited, came to the surface through the portal. A girl with an extremely hot figure took the initiative to hug Li Yan's arm. Brother Sun God, can you carry him and fly to the ground? Say, still do not forget to twist body. Li Yan can only say that these girls are too enthusiastic. Be obedient and go by yourself, I'll find you when I'm free. Li Yan whispered in her ear. The girl's expression brightened, and she left a kiss on Li Yan's face. Finally, clear this layer. Li Yan has experience. If you go further up, you will definitely not stay longer. Open a space door leading to the ground and leave. Until you come to the 45th floor. It's you. Seeing Yang M.I., Ji was not surprised. A big star who was unattainable in his previous life. In this life, I didn't expect to be the one saved by myself. Yang Mi's eyes lit up. Listening to Li Yan's words means knowing yourself. That is, have you seen the TV series you acted in? Brother Tai, do you know me? Yang Mi's eyes widened, and she asked expectantly. You play Qingwen. Li Yan smiled. Yang M.I. was happier in an instant. She jumped up and down beside Li Yan. Brother Tai, you are the male god of others. Today, you saved someone again, and he has nothing to repay you, so you can only promise with your body. Yang M.I. fluttered her big eyes. No matter which world Yang M.I. is, she is good at seizing opportunities. Seeing Yang Mi's face, the memories of Li Yan's previous life flooded out. 
He was naturally willing to give Yang Mi this chance. Send others to the ground. Said to Yang Mi. You stay here, and I'll send you down after I've rescued everyone above. Yang Mi nodded heavily. She was a star, all too well. I was captured by Li Yan, the current oriental deity. Hold it and send it to the ground, and bring it to yourself. What made her even happier was that she accepted her love proposal. Then she will have the biggest backer. Soon, Li Yan sent everyone to the ground. Go back to the 45th floor. Li Yan hugged Yang Mi in a princess hug. Li Yan scanned it, and she was still a girl with yellow flowers. Coming outside, Li Yan hugged Yang Mi and landed slowly. Countless shots were aimed at this place. When I saw the girl in Li Yan's arms. Countless girls turned their heads with envious and jealous eyes. Who is that? Ah. Why wasn't I the one being hugged? I'm so envious. Brother Taiyi only let me go through the space door. If she is not as pretty as me, I will definitely cry for Brother Taiyi. Li Yan hugged Yang Mi and fell to the ground. Under countless shots, Yang Mi looked shy and excited, and reluctantly left Ji Yan's embrace. Aunt Kai, the sugar figure, saw this scene, her eyes lit up instantly. She knew that Yang Mi would quickly become the hottest star because of the embrace of the sun god. Facing the camera, Li Yan just smiled brightly. Bring the sunniest smile to this world. He's not like Azu's pretender. Also deliberately say something. Li Yan flew into the 33rd floor again. This time the fire was man-made. He wants to find out who did it. However, all evidence was destroyed in raging flames. But on Li Yan's chest, time gem shone brightly. In Li Yan's eyes, there was a layer of greenness. His eyes, through the power of time, checked what happened on this floor in the past. Soon, he locked a group of suspects. Those people, on their bodies, have a special tattoo. The Ten Commandments Gang. Li Yan snorted coldly. Don't harm Ying Zhang, but attack your own people. Court death. In my previous life, I was an oriental person, so I didn't have a good impression of this organization. This thing was created by Ying Zhang to discredit the East. In this real world, is also like this. What civil and military, not the disgusting character Mandarin. Li Yan has murderous intentions for all members of this organization. Just like Kong the Conqueror, if you don't kill your mind, you won't get through. Li Yan flew out of the high-rise building, and with a glance, he found, two kilometers away, a member of the Ten Commandments gang who seemed to have nothing to do with them. In just an instant, Li Yan flew over and caught him. Then lead back to S Caliber Bureau. Snapped. A few members of the Ten Commandments gang who didn't react at all. Just fell to the ground. Shut up. Li Yan said lightly. There is an agent from the S Caliber Bureau, who arrests people, steep. Director Chen Zhang rushed over after hearing the news. They are. The fire in Shanghai was done by them. I saw, they are all the scum of the Ten Commandments gang. This organization, take care of it. When Li Yan said that, Chen Zhang understood. Now, even though he is the bureau chief, he still has to listen to Li Yan's advice. Otherwise, the director should be replaced by someone else. Okay, I'll arrange a settlement against the Ten Commandments gang. A badass gang. If there were no Ten Rings, it would have been cleaned up long ago. Li Yan nodded, opened the space door and left. He suddenly remembered that there are civil and military in Ten Rings. Then there must be Tarot Village, a certain microcosm attached to this universe. None of this matters. The important thing is that there is a dragon inside that looks like the Dongfang dragon, but is a messy dragon with poor strength. Although the dragon is not very good, it is kept as a pet. Or, as a mount, it's still very good. With the space gem, Li Yan can easily find the micro-universe where Taro Village is located. It is said to be a microcosm, but it is actually a small space connecting two universes. Those animals that look very similar to the beasts in Oriental mythology. From another universe. But that universe was invaded by soul-devouring beasts. So the dragon, with some survivors, came to this special small space. It used its own dragon scales to seal the passage. From within this main universe where Li Yan is, look for some Orientals. Let them build Taro Village and guard the seal. Because it has the same shape as the real dragon in Oriental mythology. It is easy to gain the trust of those people. But in fact, it is not the real dragon in Oriental mythology. 
Just when Li Yan was about to get a pseudo dragon as a mount. Graham. Luke also suffered a wave of drunkenness on the Kryptonian spaceship. Follow Fury to the spaceship. This time, Louise did not follow. Naturally, there is no AI duplication of Joel to help him. On this spacecraft, the atmospheric composition is that of Krypton. The environment of Krypton is far worse than that of Blue Star. There are also many harmful substances in the atmosphere, which is far less moist than the atmosphere of Blue Star. Clark who hadn't breathed the atmosphere of Krypton for a few days, breathed the atmosphere of Krypton. His body produced a strong exclusivity reaction. The incomparable weakness made Clark kneel down in front of General Zod. A mouthful of blood was spat out. Kryptonian scientist Zool, seeing this scene, said. He grew up on Blue Planet and couldn't adapt to the Kryptonian atmosphere. Quote. The body is having an exclusionary reaction. Zod frowned slightly, such Clark couldn't ask anything. Take him to the treatment room. Two Kryptonian warriors, set Clark up. Zool followed. Zool is the only remaining scientist and doctor on Krypton. Come to the medical room and scan through the equipment. It was discovered that Clark's body was gradually adapting to the weather in Shaman. He didn't care much. He took Clark's blood and started to test it. He wanted to see if the genes of the Kryptonians who had been in the sun for more than 20 years would change. But in this test, Zuer discovered a great secret. In Clark's genes, it actually contains all the star-crossing genes. In other words, the code of life, integrated in Clark's body. Zuer hurried to the main control room. General, I found the code of life. General Zod appeared in front of Zul in an instant. What did you say? Zul held up the test tube containing Clark's blood in his hand. Excitedly said. General, the code of life has merged into Kar-El's body. He was originally, a living code of life. We, Wang Hao Zhao, can extract his genes and use them to breed new stars. General Zod clenched his fists excitedly. Get ready to extract the genes. I'm going to bring the life incubator. General Zod called the shots. This time, he did not give the order to transform Blue Star. Instead, I chose a planet from another solar system. Mars. In this world, there is Li Yan. Zod dared not take any chances. On Mars, it is still the energy region that can absorb the sun. Less efficient, but better than nothing. Soon, Zod came to the North Pole and inserted his master key. Took over this ancient Kryptonian probe spacecraft. Without Li Yan, without Superman. He didn't give the order to transform Blue Star, so no one came to stop it. He drove away the spaceship that belonged to Krypton. When two spaceships fit together, the Phantom Engine starts. From Blue Star to Mars. At ten times the speed of light. But only for a short time. In the orbit of Mars. Unleash the planet terraforming. Two huge amounts of terraforming, flew to opposite ends of Mars. Start up. Driven by huge energy, the environment reformer. Inject a special energy and substance into the core of Mars. The gravitational pull of Mars began to strengthen. The atmosphere is also gradually filled with a special substance. Zod knew that there was ecology on this seemingly desolate planet. But he doesn't care at all. Krypton warriors already have a powerful armor support, and the ability is even more powerful after being exposed to the sun. They are only afraid of those of the same race who get more sun than themselves. When Clark adapted to the Kryptonian atmosphere, he broke free from the chains that bound him. Just about to break through the outer wall of the spaceship and return to Blue Star Blow. He was stunned. Looking out at the red planet. My head is full of questions. Who I am? Where am I? What about Blue Star? The Kryptonian spacecraft left the orbit of the Blue Star, which made the whole world breathe a sigh of relief. Li Yan just raised his eyes and glanced at Mars. No more attention. General Zod is on Mars, rebuilding Krypton. Nothing to do with him. In this universe, he only cares about the ancient eastern country. Except. Everything can be destroyed. As for the natives on Mars. White Martians and Green Martians. Green Martians, destroyed in a plague against them. Then, only Ron, a Martian, survived. He is hiding on the Blue Star. And pretended to be the head of the Super Investigation Department. And what a marinated egg. Krypton would be rebuilt on Mars. Perhaps only Miss Krypton's body can bear his torture. Holding a fake unicorn cub in his arms, he looked at the Tarot village like a paradise. 
Li Yan thinks that this place can be used to build her own back garden. Just get rid of the soul devourer. Completely block the passage to another universe. Here, what a beautiful landscape. Let the girls you like live a happy life here. It's better than the outside, it's always an alien invasion. If it doesn't move, it is a superpower disaster. It's isolated from the world. The channel leading to the main universe will only be opened at a specific time. Therefore, Tarot Village will select the best people to serve as the entrance Asgardian. But now, it is not in the period when the entrance is opened. At the moment's Tarot Village, it is impossible for outsiders to come in. However, it appeared. Look at that, Li Yan who treats a fake unicorn cub as a cat. None of them knew each other. But soon, the people of Tarot Village surrounded Li Yan. Young man, who are you? How did you get in here? Yuan. No, the head of Tarot Village, Uncle Guang. Led a group of villagers. Everyone holds weapons made of dragon scales. Standing side by side with Uncle Guang is Yang. B. Yu Yingnan. Tarot Asgardian. Looking at Li Yan's gorgeous but mysterious golden crow armor. They knew that this was definitely not an ordinary person who strayed into this place. What about the dragon? Let it come out and meet me. Li Yan knew that the pseudo dragon hid in the bottom of the water to heal his wounds. In the battle with the soul devouring beastmaster, the physical injuries were easily healed. But it takes a long time for the power of the soul to be taken away. Upon hearing Li Yan's words, everyone in Taro village became tense instantly. Who are you? Yingnan drew his bow and arrow, and aimed at Li Yan with an arrow made of dragon scales. Li Yan put the fake unicorn cubs in the place. But the fake unicorn cub is clinging to Li Yan's leg. Mu Mu 2073 sounds. Only then reluctantly left. Li Yan stretched his waist and said. Fortunately, you are all from the east, and you can't even tell the difference between a real dragon and a fake dragon. Li Yan looked towards the passage of the dragon scale seal. Aren't you just guarding the channel that seals the soul devouring beast? I'll help you get rid of the soul devouring beast completely, and you go back outside. Have a good time. For so long in this small space, you are lucky not to have produced a bunch of idiots. Guangbo frowned tightly. He felt more and more that the person in front of him was too mysterious. Unexpectedly, even the soul devouring beast and the seal knew about it. Do you have something to do with civil and military? For so many years, the only people who have left Taro village are the Taro Asgardians of the previous generation. Yingli. And it was Wenwu who abducted her. Li Yan stared. Uncle Guang only felt that he was being followed by some extremely terrifying existence. All the blood and thoughts in his body were frozen. Don't mention that Lise to me. Li Yan is also not interested in these dead houses who have not been in contact with the outside world for hundreds of years. Communicated. His body rose into the air. Under the shocked eyes of everyone. Li Yan flew over Taro village, and the river where the pseudo dragon was hidden. Standing in front of the tall dragon scale seal. The people of Taro village rushed to the river. Across the river. Look at Li Yan. Uncle Guang, he can fly. I saw. Uncle Guang, tell me, will he destroy the seal and release the soul devouring beast? How would I know? Guangbo looked at the river. The only thing he can look forward to is the sleeping real dragon. In the shocked eyes of the villagers in Taro village. Two bright golden lights slashed across the dragon scale seal. The extremely hard dragon scale was easily removed. Facing the high temperature of nearly 10 million degrees. Nothing can resist it. Uncle Guang, the seal is broken. Yingnan is a Taro Asgardian, she tightly holds the dragon scale bow and arrow in her hand. Guangbo shouted loudly. Everyone, prepare to stop the soul-devouring beast. The entire Taro village began to act. Move out all stored dragon scale weapons. Whether adults or children, all are ready to go. Then by the river, a defensive position was formed. Li Yan looked at the dark passage. I saw many little soul-devouring beasts flying out. At the same time, I also saw a huge amounts of soul-eater beastmaster, waiting. Those descendants of oneself, bring new souls to themselves. Supplement his physical strength. Boom. Two thick golden lights filled the entire passage. The soul-devouring beasts swarmed out like bats. In an instant, it was completely gasified. And the soul-devouring beastmaster sensed a crisis. Just as he was about to escape, he was enveloped by a golden hot gaze. 
an instant. This ghost-type creature that destroys a universe. Just disappear. Under Li Yan's hot gaze. For a universe already occupied by ghost-type creatures. Li Yan didn't have the slightest interest. Boom. There was a roar that shook the entire small space. The channel connecting the dead universe completely dissipated. The golden light disappeared. Li Yan turned around and came to the river. On the other side, everyone in Taro village was waiting in battle. You look at me, I look at you. After the bright golden light dissipated. Why didn't the soul eater fly out? If not, everyone in Taro village would know that the soul devouring beast really exists. I'm afraid to suspect that the soul devouring beast is just a legend. Uncle Guang, no soul devouring beast has come out yet. I know. Uncle Guang looked responsibly at the stalwart man on the other side of the river. Based on his knowledge of soul-devouring beasts, those demons have been hungry for hundreds of years. Never let their souls go. However, none of the soul-devouring beasts came out. Then there is only one explanation. The soul-devouring beast that has plagued them for hundreds of years is gone. Everyone put away your weapons. Guangbo said suddenly. Uncle Guang, are we not going to stop the soul-devouring beast? Still the talkative young man. Uncle Guang said to him angrily. Still stop the fart. You didn't see that thick golden light. Those soul-devouring beasts have all been burped. Uncle Guang's words made everyone look at Li Yan. He can fly, and his eyes can still shine golden light. Could it be that he is a fairy? Hiss. He just let out a golden light and killed all the soul-devouring beasts. This is too powerful. With the soul-devouring beast gone, what's the point of our Taro village? Or, let's move out, there are computers and mobile phones outside. The young people in Taro village started talking about it. The eyes of some little girls were fixed on Li Yan. Yingnan frowned slightly. She looked at the river worriedly. From the very beginning, Li Yan came straight to their guardian dragon. Now, the soul-devouring beasts that could compete with Shenlong were all killed in seconds. What about the dragon? The bottom of the river tens of meters deep. The false dragon was staring at the river. He felt the disappearance of the soul-devouring beast. It's exciting. However, the man who killed the soul-devouring beast in seconds made it terrified. It is not an oriental dragon, but in the universe occupied by ghost creatures. The only remaining intelligent life. It stared wide-eyed, willing to wait for Ji Yan to leave. To hit Li Yan is to run towards it. I know you can understand me. Come out, or I'll roast you and eat you. Li Yan's words made the pseudo-dragon tremble. The Taro villagers on the other side of the river were also stunned. What? You want to roast the guardian dragon of our time? Uncle Guang, Yingnan, these older generations, their eyes are full of worry. But the younger generation secretly wiped their mouths. You can't eat such a big dragon, can you share our daily meal? Definitely, they just want to. Dare not say. The pseudo dragon is playing dead. Li Yan lost his patience. In the eyes, the bright golden hot gaze evaporated the river water. The white mist soon filled this small world. The golden light disappeared. The pseudo dragon stared blankly at his surroundings. Where about water? What about so much water? What's gone? A GBI. Only then did the pseudo-dragon react. The water was all evaporated by that terrifying man with his heat vision. It is not an oriental dragon that does not move clouds and rain. They can stay underwater for hundreds of years. Just because it is a water, land and air amphibious creature. It is a dragon-shaped intelligent creature. Seeing that I can't pretend to be dead. I didn't have the strength to resist this terrible man. It flew up obediently. The body hovered in front of Li Yan but he lowered his head towards Li Yan. As an intelligent life, when you should be counseled, you must counsel. Li Yan smiled lightly. Be my mount obediently. Li Yan raised his foot and stood on the head of the pseudo-dragon. From today onwards, your name will be Ao Guang. Dong Wangtai sits in Ao Guang. Perfect. The pseudo-long Ao Guang reluctantly accepts this reality. It let out a dragon cry. Vibrate the entire small space. Seeing this scene, all the people in Taro village were stunned. Shenlong actually obediently served as a mount for someone. Ao Guang dragged Li Yan and flew in front of everyone in Taluo village. Li Yan opened a space door leading to the Escalibur Bureau. Your mission is over. Go back to the east. I'll let people arrange for you. 
For the sudden opening of the space door, the people in the Excalibur Bureau are already proficient. Very. Soon, many people gathered. Then, through the space door, they saw a shocking scene. Dragon. A living dragon. I'm going, it turns out that Shenlong really exists. Hiss. Look, Brother Taiyi is riding on the head of Shenlong. Brother Taiyi, are you a dragon knight now? This is too strong, directly subdue a dragon as a mount. If the world knows about this, you won't be envious of death. Director Chen Zhang hurried over. Seeing Shenlong, he was also shocked. He felt that his nerves were rough enough. Even if Li Yan brings up any strange alien life, he can accept it calmly. But this time it's a dragon. Not a western lizard dragon. It is exactly the same as the dragon in oriental mythology. Could it be, except that Norse mythology is real? Are our oriental myths true? Sun Wukong. Neja. Yang Jian. Taishang Laojun. If you come here at random, wouldn't it mean that the whole universe is just randomly wandering around? If the gods are real. Isn't it, cultivation soaring? Live forever. It's all true. Chen Zhang felt that he couldn't get his head around. Li Yan rode Ao Guang and appeared in the Excalibur game. He could tell at a glance that Chen Zhang was obviously thinking too much. Director, don't think about it. This pseudo-dragon is an intelligent creature in a certain universe. Except for the appearance, it has nothing to do with the real dragon in our mythology. Ah. The voice of disappointment resonated. Obviously, almost everyone in the Excalibur Bureau was disappointed by this. The dragon is gone. There are no more gods. The oriental gods in Marvel's original book are not introduced. It's too insulting to the word gods. What cultivator? Live forever. Not anymore. Li Yan asked Excalibur Bureau to arrange the people in Taro Village. This small space. It will be his back garden from now on. Behind, Li Yan is riding Ao Guang in a big and generous way. Fly from the Excalibur Bureau to his palace. The entire capital fell into silence. Am I not mistaken? Is that really a dragon? Hiss. I saw it too, it's a dragon. Could it be, who uses some kind of virtual technology, too to us? Didn't you see the sun god standing on the dragon's head? Who dares to use his image to fool people? I think it's normal for Tai Yi to ride a dragon. Normal ghost. Although he has the power of a god, he is still a mutant, which can be explained by science. But this is a dragon. How to explain it scientifically? I want to resign. I'm going to Zongnan Mountain to learn from my teacher, to practice and refine Qi. Hiss. If the dragon exists, then the gods will exist. Ha ha, my family is from the northeast, I'm going to the mountains to invite the fox fairy. I'll go, or you can play. Li Yan rode a dragon back to the palace. Then Ao Guang flew to Beihai Park by himself. In the capital, there are only two lakes that can accommodate it. On this day, Beihai Park was overcrowded. On this day, the eastern network was completely paralyzed. Countless people rushed to the capital with a pilgrimage mentality. It's like seeing the legendary dragon with your own eyes. Nick Fury stared at that one eye, staring viciously at the figure of Li Yan riding a dragon on the computer screen. You actually stole my tesseract. Bandit. Devil. I must research a way to deal with you. He convened the first meeting of the Godslayer League, Anti-Superman League, after it was renamed. There is one person who is absent. The person in charge of the Super Investigation Department, Ron N. As the only surviving Green Martian. Ron was dying. He didn't expect that after the Kryptonians left, they went straight to Mars. And, the environment of Mars is being transformed. Once completed, Mars will only be suitable for Kryptonian creatures to exist. That is his home. Ron headed straight east. He wants to ask Li Yan, the only one who has the ability to deal with General Zod, to help. Mars Orbiter, Kryptonian spacecraft. Zod, don't you know what you're doing? Clark said in an atmosphere. General Zod turned around and looked at the fiery Clark. Didn't I not attack Blue Star? I'm rebuilding Krypton on this barren planet, what's the problem? Clark pointed to the white torrent rushing towards the ground. Look, there is life on Mars. We can't destroy other people's homes just to rebuild Krypton. General Zod's eyes were red. Cal L. Don't you forget that you are a Kryptonian. You are shouldering the mission of rebuilding Krypton. These are just worms without intelligence. Are you going to stop me for some bugs? Clark clenched his fists. No. 
We can't rob other people's homes. Zod restrained the severe crimson energy. In this case, let's go to the ground and fight. Whoever wins decides the fate of this planet. Mars, on the vast red land. In the distance, is Krypton's planet environment reformer. The gravitational waves emitted run through the entire Mars. On the opposite side, make a planet environment modifier. Gravity waves shuttled back and forth between the two reformers. Constantly, the calendar of Mars is increasing. The rushing white Martians. They have launched an attack. However, within the range of gravitational waves. Gravity is multiplied. Become, the strongest protection. Unless, they have Superman-like powers. But the entire Martian family, only the only survivor among the green Martians. Ron, has great power. The wind on Mars, the red cloak blowing, hunting. Zod leaned over and grabbed a handful of Martian king. Then, let the Martian soil fall from your fingertips. Blown away by the wind. The two did not speak, but when the last grain of Martian soil fell. Move at the same time. Whoosh. Under super speed, the two slammed into each other fiercely. Although Zod did not spend as long in the sun as Clark. But he was born the most powerful Kryptonian warrior. Also experienced, the most difficult training. In addition, he also has the bonus of the Kryptonian battle suit on his body. In terms of strength, the two are evenly divided. Boom. Their impact is no less than the explosion of a missile. Shockwave, blows away the surrounding Martian rocks and soil. In the cover of dust. Zod and Clark, you come and go. Use your fist, towards the opponent's body, and hammer it hard. Boom. Boom. Like a big hammer, hammering a solid big iron ball constantly. The roar is endless. Here, there are no tall buildings. Don't worry about accidental injury. Kayla and Zod, all hands and feet. But soon, Clark was in the fray. Is at a disadvantage. He is Superman though. But just debuted. Before, they were saving lives. This was his first fight with someone. Apart from using his fists recklessly, he doesn't know any other tricks at all. But Zod is different. He is General Krypton, he has accumulated military achievements from the grassroots level, and climbed up step by step. What a wealth of combat experience. It's all Kryptonians, Superman's recklessness, because of the greatest effect. Boom. Clark got kicked out. He hit a big mountain. That mountain was smashed through by him. His next breath was flying towards Zod. But Zod sent him flying again. Krypton's top fighting master. Teaching my eldest nephew how to fight. Zod didn't kill him. Clark's body contains the code of life. To extract the genetic information in the code of life, Clark needs to be alive. Zod didn't do anything to Blue Star. Even though he knew that Zod had killed his father, the kind Clark did not kill Zod. Mountains on Mars were destroyed by the fight between the two. On the ground, deep pits appeared one after another like meteorite impacts. Kryptonians after absorbing the energy of the yellow sun. Showing the brutality and strength of their physique. And what Clark and Zod didn't know. At the moment, there are two spectators, watching them. Crotch kick. Buttonhole. Clark, your level of fighting is not as good as the little hooligans on the street. Li Yan was lying in the garden of the palace. The pool where fish and lotus are raised here has been transformed into an open-air swimming pool. Li Yan was not wearing his own golden crow armor. Instead, she was wearing a pair of floral pants. Lie on a beach chair and bask in the sun wearing a pair of sunglasses. He drank fresh coconuts fresh from the tree. Yang Mi is wearing a blue bikini swimsuit. Hair is still wet. Just swam up. He was squatting beside Li Yan, massaging his legs. But Li Yan's attention is on Mars. Looks boring, watch a Kryptonian gladiator. Yang Mi pretended not to hear what Li Yan said. She just concentrates on doing what is in front of her. However, the eyes under the sunglasses have a trace of seriousness. He watched the battle between Clark and Zod as a spectacle. But look at the other blue guy who is also watching Clark and Zod fight. It's not just watching the fun. Dr. Manhattan. The man who was once regarded as the true god of the world by the whole eagle sauce. Li Yan doesn't know who is better at at the moment, or Dr. Manhattan. Li Yan wants to try it. Infinite Superman is an existence that constantly breaks its own limits. Just because you can constantly break the limit, there is no limit. When Li Yan looked at Dr. Manhattan, Dr. Manhattan also looked at Li Yan. 
With just one glance, Dr. Manhattan saw Li Yan's future. It was an incomparably bright and powerful figure. Standing there, is the center of the endless multi-universe. Suddenly, Dr. Manhattan was taken aback. He seemed to have long since lost any emotion, and strong mood swings were born. That's amazing. And a tinge of intense excitement. Because, when he saw the future figure of Li Yan, the figure also looked at him. The future Li Yan smiled at Dr. Manhattan. That smile was playful. As if, I saw something fun and interesting. As soon as that figure waved his hand, Manhattan could no longer see Li Yan's future. Although, he is Dr. Manhattan. Among his many abilities, each one can be called Dr. Manhattan of the sky-defying ability. The power of hundreds of trillions of fixed stars. It's really scary. Manhattan murmured. Li Yan didn't know his future self, so he greeted Dr. Manhattan. However, when he saw Dr. Manhattan's mouth move, he activated his super hearing. He clearly heard Manhattan's words. A kind of joy surfaced on Li Yan's face. He knows that Dr. Manhattan can observe time and see the past and future. Since he said the power of hundreds of trillions of fixed stars, then explain. Li Yan's current path is correct. Six infinite gems, the almost omnipotent wish ability. Sure enough, he can have the power of hundreds of trillions of fixed stars. I just don't know, is there a sub-sun in the quantum universe? Li Yan lowered his head and murmured, reaching out to stroke Yang Mi's hair. Although very rusty. But Li Yan loves it. Suddenly, Li Yan frowned. What the hell, at this time, is someone interrupting? A Martian with a marinated egg on the outside and a green skin on the inside. Don't hide it well, and be the person in charge of the super investigation department. The reason why he ran to find him was because of the matter of Mars. Li Yan was about to start, to open a space door. Send him to some unknown planet. A beam of quantum energy suddenly enveloped Ron N. Li Yan saw that Rong N suddenly appeared on Mars. Ron, the only surviving green Martian. As Martian Manhunter, he has great power. Compared with other green Martians, Han has more power. Moreover, many abilities overlap with Superman. He seems to be the Martian version of Superman. Ron N didn't expect that he suddenly appeared on Mars. The quantum energy sent to him, as the person in charge of the super investigation department. Why don't you understand, this is the Lishan team that Yingjong disappeared. The power of Dr. Manhattan. Once, when Dr. Manhattan first came to Mars. Their family of green Martians has not been wiped out by the deadly plague. Leave Dr. Manhattan alone on Mars. Like an otaku, build mysterious and incomprehensible devices. When he arrived at Blue Star, he learned from Yingjong's top secret information. Got it, the power of Dr. Manhattan. Ron was overjoyed immediately. He knew that Dr. Manhattan was on his side. Let him come to protect Mars from being transformed into Yingxing by General Zod. Also, Mars became Krypton. Become lively. How can Dr. Manhattan, an old nerd, stand it? Boom. When Superman was sent flying again. Ron caught him. Clark, you have powerful bodies, but you don't know anything about fighting. Trust me, Mars is my home. Let me be possessed, the two of us unite, and you can defeat him. Looking at the eyes, restored, the grace of the green Martian image. Clark chose to believe. Then, Ron possessed Clark. Connected with his consciousness. Under his extremely powerful telepathy ability. A thorough insight into General Zod's fighting intentions. Fight. In reverse. General Zod was kicked away. Boom. General Zod. Lead the ground. As a Martian manhunter, Ron has excellent fighting ability. You can also use telepathy ability to gain insight into the tricks Zod will use. Zod was rebellious. On Blue Star. Li Yan was dissatisfied. Dr. Manhattan, this is your fault. This is a contradiction within human Krypton, you're taking it too far. Since you choose to help Clark, then I will help Zod. This battle must be fair and just. Li Yan, originally called Dr. Manhattan, as his opponent. This time, it happened to be an opportunity. Fight in the air. When I think of it, Dr. Manhattan is like a god. Later, it actually possessed a marinated egg. He was also caught and almost had his super ability taken away. Drama version of Watchmen. Li Yan just wants to laugh. He felt blind. Li Yan regained consciousness, and the golden crow armor appeared next to his body. 
Li Yan buckled the power gem. A space door opens. Zod, I will lend you the power gem. Zod, who was rebellious by Clark, was somewhat skeptical of his life. Look at that space door. There is also the power gem that exudes purple light. Zod, of course, knows the lore about the infinite gems. Now, there is one, appearing in front of my eyes. Thank you sir. Zod knew that now was not the time to be grateful. He reached out and grabbed the power gem. Terrifying energy poured into Zod's body. With the powerful body of Kryptonians. Although Zod felt a heavier load. But he can bear it completely, power treasure. The huge energy of the stone. Zod's eyes were all purple. Kal-El. You think you are the only one who can help you. Your father is a thief who stole the code of life. Cheating openly in our duel. Krypton's face is completely lost to you. Feel the constant energy in the power gem. There is also myself, who has been strengthened to the extreme strength. Zod broke his body. Originally, it was a battle box that brought him an increase in combat power. They fell off one after another. Exposed, with the same material as Clark's battle suit, but it is a black battle suit without a cloak. On his chest is a capital Z. Crest of House Zod. Zod suspended in the air, clenched his fists, and was wrapped in purple energy. As a Kryptonian, you prevent me from rebuilding Krypton. Kal-El, you have betrayed your race. The angry Zod pushed the power of the power gem to the extreme. Boom. He's a straight punch. Ron's telepathy ability sensed it, but it didn't work. Clark shook his fist. Fight. Fist and fist bang. A terrifying shockwave is born. Tear up the land of Mars under the feet of the two of them. Superman, flying backwards at hundreds of times the speed of sound. The strength is the same. One is the blessing of Martian Manhunter Ron. One is the blessing of the power gem. Who is stronger? Who is weak? There is no comparison at all. Kryptonian bloodline plus power gem. If Li Yan can't come out, who will fight? Boom. That's Zod breaking through supersonic. The sound of rolling thunder was pulled far behind by Zod. He caught up with Clark who was flying backwards hundreds of times the speed of sound. He punched Clark in the face. Clark, turned and flew upward. Zod followed closely, and kept hitting the sky with both fists. Clark's body was constantly being hit hard by Zod. Clark's body, which can resist mushroom bombs, is under such terrifying power. I can't bear it. Obviously you can be a god, but you are a savior. Kal-El, you disgust me. The sound suddenly disappeared. They came to space. The brilliant solar energy shines on the body. Clark finally came back to breathe a sigh of relief. In his eyes, a scarlet hot gaze burst out. And Zod's eyes also burst out with the same hot gaze. The energy accumulated in Zod's body is not as much as that of Clark. But he has the blessing of power gems. Zod's heat sight is thicker. Stronger. Clark felt the hot gaze of the opponent who kept approaching him. He knew that in the heat of sight, he also lost. However, he couldn't just sit and watch, Mars where the Aborigines existed. Transformed into Krypton, Clark mobilized the majestic energy in his body. Then, from his eyes, an instant burst. Solar flares. An incomparably bright light suddenly appeared. Comes like the sun. In Clark's body, a huge amount of energy has been accumulated for a long time. Explode at this moment. Power enough to completely destroy a big city. Zod felt the crisis. He mobilizes the power of the power gem. Bless your own defense to the extreme. Then, the power of solar flares. It hit him. Dazzling purple light enveloped him. On the surface of Mars. Those white Martians who failed to besiege the planet's environmental reformer. They raised their heads and looked towards the sky. From their perspective, there is another sun in the sky. But this sun existed for only a few seconds. The energy of a solar flare explosion is dissipated. Zod was sweating profusely, panting heavily. Such a huge amount of energy consumed by the power gem. It put a severe load on his body. But the corner of his mouth was full of smiles. Because he won. The energy in his body was exhausted, and Clark, who fell into a period of weakness, fell helplessly into the atmosphere of Mars. A blue-skinned person exuding blue light suddenly appeared. He hugged and fell to Clark Jr. Zod looked vigilantly at the blue human who suddenly appeared. Who are you? Zod took a deep breath, endured the load on his body again, and mobilized the energy of the power gem. 
Working on this, Fiora drove the shuttle and came to support. The previous battle was a duel following the Kryptonian tradition. Now, foreign enemies invade. Dr. Manhattan, staring at the power gem in Zod's hand. He turned his head and faced the direction of Blue Star. This time, you won. I will take the Martian family and leave Mars. Dr. Manhattan finished. With a wave of his hand, the entire Mars is enveloped by quantum energy. On Mars, all the white Martians were separated by him with quantum energy. Then the next moment, Dr. Manhattan disappeared. Disappeared with Clark, and all the white Martians. General Zod breathed a sigh of relief. He quickly withdrew the power of the power gem. A space door opened, and Li Yan appeared in front of Zod. Despite his reluctance, Zod obediently handed the power gem to Li Yan. Thank you for your help. From now on, wherever you use me, just order me. Li Yan nodded. The power gem was inlaid on the Golden Crow armor again. The terrifying energy of the three gems poured into Li Yan's body. But Li Yan didn't respond at all. This stunned Zod. Only people who have used gems. Only then did I know how powerful the power of gems is. He just held the power gem for a while. All felt a heavy load. And Li Yan in front of him. Hold three. Withstand the energy blast of three gems. And no pressure at all. General Zod clearly realized the gap between himself and, nine suppression, Li Yan. How big is it? He was fortunate that just now, he didn't have the greedy heart to occupy the power gem. Otherwise, I'm afraid that I don't know how I died. For Zod on Mars, rebuilding the Kryptonian thing. Li Yan didn't care at all. This time, he also wanted to fight Dr. Manhattan, so he lent the gem to Zod. Li Yan was about to return to Blue Star, but stopped. Look into the distance. Satellites of Saturn. Titan. In this solar system, on the second largest satellite. Many experts believe that life exists on this satellite. Before, Li Yan wasn't sure. But now, Li Yan is sure. Dr. Manhattan, who gave up Mars, came to this planet with a white Martian. Titan, also known as Titan. But it is definitely not the hometown of purple sweet potato essence. This planet is larger than Mercury, but not as massive. It has a thick atmosphere with a pressure 1.5 times that of blue star. The main component of the atmosphere is nitrogen, and the surface of the planet exists in both liquid and solid states. Here, there are a large number of lakes and oceans composed of methane and ethane. The environment here is infinitely worse than Mars. Even the white Martians cannot survive here. The space door opened. Li Yan stepped in. Then, he showed up on Titan. Not far away. Standing as Dr. Manhattan, and behind him, a group of white Martians wrapped in quantum energy. Clark was sent to Mercury by Dr. Manhattan. Basking in the sun at close range replenishes energy consumption. Seeing Li Yan, Dr. Manhattan, said naturally. I made the decision for these white Martians and gave up Mars. Then it's time to build a new home for them. Please just watch. Li Yan nodded. He also wants to see how Dr. Manhattan transforms Titan. Dr. Manhattan, like a teacher. He said while operating. The volume and mass of this planet are not as good as Mars, but the concentration of the atmosphere is better. Why? Let this planet have the same gravitational force as Mars. Need to increase the mass of the planet. With Dr. Manhattan beckoning, an immeasurable amount of gas poured into Titan from Saturn. Saturn is a gas giant planet. After a huge amount of gas poured into Titan, the already thick atmosphere became even thicker. The atmosphere of this planet cannot be too dense. So, it is necessary to convert the gas into a solid mass region. Dr. Manhattan, cast one of his defying abilities. Disassemble and reassemble. Any matter or energy composed of elementary particles can be decomposed and recombined by him. Ignore volume and density. Thus, the weather that comes from Uranus. It was decomposed and reorganized into various metals. Melted into Titan's core. Making the Earth's core bigger and bigger. Quality is also increasing. What this brings is the surge of gravity. When the gravitational force reaches the standard. Dr. Manhattan, stopped drawing matter from Saturn. The next step is to modify the surface of the planet. The life and reproduction of Martians is inseparable from land and water. And on this planet, there are alkanes lakes and oceans all over the place, as well as extremely low temperatures. They are not suitable for Martians to live in. 
As a result, Manhattan once again performed decomposition and reorganization, this heaven-defying ability. Alkanes are recombined into water, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. On this planet, there will soon be oceans made of water. The composition of the atmosphere will soon be the same as that of Mars. At the same time, the land area increased. Finally, the pattern of 60% land and 40% water was established. The population of white Martians is not large. On land, under sea. The volcano is erupting. Heat surge. The temperature of the entire planet is rising. Here it is farther away from the sun. The surface temperature of Mars is minus 63 degrees Celsius. It is not necessary to increase the temperature of this planet too much. Soon, in Titan's equatorial region, the temperature was constant at minus 60 degrees. Dr. Manhattan, for the White Martians, built huge amounts of underground caverns. The White Martians originally lived underground. Titan, which soon became a replica of Titan. Compared with, round stars planet environment modification. Dr. Manhattan's planet transformation. If it wasn't for showing romance teaching to Li Yan. I'm afraid it can be done in an instant. After the renovation is complete. Send all the White Martians into Tian Wiliu's underground cave. For the rest, he doesn't need to worry about it. The two came to the outside of the Titan star. Suspended in space, looking at the drastically changed planet in front of you. Go to my new home, sit down. Dr. Manhattan, invite. Li Yan nodded, and the two fell into Saturn. Saturn is a gas giant planet. Outside the core of the rock is metallic hydrogen flowing layer by layer. Outside, is the dense atmosphere. Manhattan is fast, right in this deep atmosphere built a floating replica of the one he built on Mars. In the center of this unidentified device, is a huge amounts of open space. Both of them are sitting cross-legged here. I searched in the multi-universe. I didn't even find your existence. Only in this universe, you exist. Dr. Manhattan spoke. In fact, Li Yan had already discovered it. Ancient One took him to a different universe. Soul universe. Mind universe. He is on those blue stars in the universe, basking in the sun. Parses the differences of particular suns. He seeks with supervision and super hearing. And did not find their own existence. These universes are all Superman, there is purple sweet potato essence, there is Iron Man, and there is Excalibur. But only without him. As a time traveler, Li Yan is not unacceptable to this. It is impossible for him to travel through countless selves at the same time, right? And, he knew it too. In the endless multi-universe, there is another person, and this is the only one. America. That little girl was born with the ability to traverse the multi-universe. Hunted down by Wanda and ended up staying in Kamar Taj's multi-universe walker. Really. Li Yan didn't think it was a problem. Just said lightly. He asked back. How about you? In how far in the universe, are you the only one or are there countless? Dr. Manhattan, it's not surprising, Li Yan asked. I am the only one, and I am countless. Although there are countless multi-universes, the quantum universe is indeed unique. My ability comes from the quantum universe. Countless me in the multi-universe, we use the force field of the quantum universe. Unity of ideas. Li Yan narrowed his eyes. Is there a sun in the quantum universe? Dr. Manhattan was no surprise. Have. The quantum universe is actually infinite. There are splendid civilizations and prosperous life in it. What this world has, the quantum universe has. Li Yan sounded, a meme in Ant-Man 3. A meme about ants. What about the ants? Li Yan asked. Dr. Manhattan said seriously. The life form of this universe is different from the quantum universe. Li Yan nodded and said. Can you take me to the quantum universe? I want to bask in the sun, quantum sun. For these special suns, Li Yan's pursuit is the same as the six infinite gems. Originally, he also had plans. Get the Pym particles and go to the quantum universe to see for yourself. But now, there is Dr. Manhattan, the existence who controls the power of stars. Bring it yourself. Much more convenient. Dr. Manhattan nodded. Okay, I'll take you there. A wave of quantum energy gushes out from Dr. Manhattan's body. Wrap them both. Then, the two of them disappeared on Saturn. The quantum universe is a very special universe. He connects the multi-universe. Moreover, it has a very special life. Here, civilization once flourished. 
Technology developed. But with a presence comes. Many civilizations and races were wiped out or enslaved. Kong the Conqueror. Countless Conley, the most evil one. Therefore, he was imprisoned in this special universe by countless Kangs. Kong the Conqueror, the energy core of the spaceship, is a special engine capable of traveling across multi-universes. His ability. The source core is broken. Stuck here, just so happens to meet Wasp who is also stuck here. Janet. The mother of the second generation Waspwoman Hope. She was with the original Ant-Man, Hank Pym. Go on a mission to destroy nuclear missiles. Janet can only take risks, based on the ant file size. Shrink yourself even more. Although, she destroyed the missile's control panel. But it's stuck in the quantum realm. Thus, falling into the quantum universe. Janet found out that Kong the Conqueror had fallen here. Blinded by him, help repair the spaceship and power core. But after repairing, when inserting the energy core. It has been sensed that the spaceship control system is connected to Kong the Conqueror's nerves, the memory of Kong the Conqueror. Know that he is a murderer who destroyed the multi-universe. Use anti-PIM particles to make the energy core extremely huge. Internal space-time energy disorder. Only the PIM particles enter the energy core and shrink it to the original file size. To continue to use. But on Janet, all the PIM particles, all the anti-PIM particles are gone. Kong the Conqueror is completely trapped in the quantum universe. But the previous repairs allowed him to repair his own battle suit. Kong the Conqueror wearing a battle suit is invincible in the quantum universe. He develops his power just waiting for the day when he will leave the army and return to the multi-universe. Destroy all yourself and enemies. Li Yan and Dr. Manhattan came here. Kong the Conqueror has completed his territory expansion. At the same time, his detection system also found Dr. Manhattan. In the quantum universe, Dr. Manhattan is invincible. Conqueror Kong, dare not mess with him at all. He once wanted to deceive Dr. Manhattan and take himself out of here. However, Dr. Manhattan, who has a unified mind in countless universes. Naturally, he knew what Kong the Conqueror was. What's more, he can see the past and the future. Those things that Kong did can't be hidden from Dr. Manhattan. At the heart of Kong the Conqueror's empire. A place where countless huge quantum channels can be seen. Dr. Manhattan and Li Yan, come here. Kong stood at his 5.8 empire core, looking at Dr. Manhattan and Li Yan. Li Yan turned his head, a trace of disdain and murderous intent flashed in his eyes. What provoked him was Kong who finally won. But Kong is Kong, regardless of which universe is Kong kill them all. However, Kong is far less important than the sun in the quantum universe. Bask in the sun first, and kill Kong when you come back. The two swaggered and entered the largest quantum channel. The quantum universe is very different from the material universe above. There are no stars here, nor individual planets. Into separate worlds. Every world is connected through those quantum channels. What Kong conquered and occupied was the largest world. Through this largest quantum channel, Li Yan and Dr. Manhattan, came to a world. In this world, there are endless deserts. Above the head, a sun exudes endless brilliance. Be in the sunshine of this sun. Li Yan felt the difference. An extremely weak quantum ability was born from his body. Li Yan smiled confidently. Sure enough, my infinite Superman template is the real next day. Basking in the quantum sun will give birth to the power to control the quantum. Doesn't it mean that the quantum sun is enough? Can he also have, Dr. Manhattan's ability? Wrong. It's a step ahead, evolving to the level of quantum Superman. Dr. Manhattan, quietly, waited for Li Yan to finish basking in the sun. The weak quantum energy born in the body is not important. Analyzing the essence of the quantum sun is the most important thing. Following the magic sun, soul sun, and mind sun, Li Yan mastered a new special sun. Quantum Sun. Now, it's time to kill Kong the Conqueror. I'm going to kill Kong the Conqueror, are you going? Li Yan sent an invitation to Dr. Manhattan. Been Dr. Manhattan for so long, he's grown aloof. Even if it is, watching pregnant women being killed. On his head, it is green and shiny. The reason why he treats G like this. It's in the look towards the future. He saw the incomparably powerful Li Yan. He has a kind of expectation. Perhaps, such a powerful Li Yan can kill the immortal self in the multi-universe. 
Dr. Manhattan condenses a princely power. Condensed into a gem. Handed over to Li Yan. Crush it, and you can return to Blue Star. With that, Dr. Manhattan, disappeared. Li Yan put away the quantum gem. Fly into that huge amounts of quantum channel. When Li Yan came out from there. Kong the Conqueror saw him. I saw Li Yan, but I didn't see Dr. Manhattan. This allowed Kong the Conqueror to see a possibility of breaking away from the quantum universe. He wanted to get away to leave the quantum universe from Li Yan. Dr. Manhattan, he can't be messed with. Still can't afford to offend this person in front of you. Among the countless Conqueror Kong, there is only Kong who is in the same universe as Li Yan. That is, the Kong who won the Battle of Kong, became the only Kong, and established the Time Variation Administration. Only then did I know of Li Yan's existence. There is no Li Yan in other multi-universes, so naturally Kong in other universes does not know Li Yan. Perhaps, Li Yan was attacked by the Time Variation Administration, and it was Kong who wanted to try. Could it be before Li Yan becomes the multi-universe overlord? Kill him. Catch him. Kong issued a battle order to his army. Battleships flew towards Li Yan. On Kang's imperial fortress. A cannon. Also aimed at Li Yan. Boom. Countless energy cannons are bombarding Li Yan. Kong the Conqueror seemed to have seen the picture of Li Yan being captured. However, two golden rays of light. Contains extremely terrifying energy. Sweep. Kang's army of fighters flight. Completely gone. Even in the quantum universe. The power of O6 heat sight with tens of millions of degrees. Also enough to vaporize anything. Kong the Conqueror was stunned. Impossible. You're not Superman. Superman's heat vision is far less than your heat vision, so terrifying. After a while, I couldn't sit still. He spoke suddenly. He stared at Li Yan firmly. Kong was a scientist in the 3000 AD era of Blue Star. In his universe. Superman a thousand years ago. It has been studied thoroughly. He was very sure of the person in front of him. Definitely not Superman. However, those two blazing hot sights didn't just destroy Kang's flight army. At the same time, the golden light that traversed the entire world and penetrated deeply into the worlds of other princes. Although it existed for a short time. However, it shocked countless people. This universe has been suffering for a long time. Wasp Janet, staring at the golden light across the sky. She was convinced that the source of that light was where Kong was. Then, she must go to investigate. Let Kong get the battle suit so that he can conquer the world. Janet has always been deeply self-blaming. If Kong has some terrible power again, she must inform the people of this world immediately. If Kong meets a strong enemy. Perhaps, this is an opportunity to solve the troubles I caused. Before she leaves the prince's universe, atone for her sins. She is now trying to talk to her husband, Hank Pym. Conduct some kind of quantum communication. Looking forward to, my husband can take me out of the quantum universe. She really is, she doesn't want to face Kang's pursuit again for a day. Under the sight of golden heat. No substance of any kind can exist. A healthy soldier. Spaceship. Arms. All, evaporated by heat vision. Li Yan is not in a hurry. He patiently cleaned up the miscellaneous soldiers. Conqueror Kong, that dark face. The already pitch black face became even darker. He saw Li Yan's intentions. This is playing him. So what if you're Superman? Conqueror Kang's eyes were full of murderous intent. He operates his own machine. A matter synthesis machine. He entered a series of molecular formulas. Then, a huge amount of energy was injected into this material combiner. Once the green fluorescence is emitted. Green kryptonite. He synthesized it, green stone. As a future top scientist. Walking in endless time and space. Superman, is also his enemy. Naturally, check Superman's nitrogen stone, he knows the formula. Although, with the efforts of Superman, the green kryptonite of the blue star was thrown into the sun. Destroy all. But, in the future, the era when Superman disappeared. Someone went to where Krypton originally existed. The remains of the Kryptonian explosion were found. A belt of meteorites surrounding the red fixed star. From it, green kryptonite was found. Since then, the molecular formula of kryptonite is no longer a secret. Kong the Conqueror made the green kryptonite into an energy weapon. Compared to ordinary kryptonite bullets. 
After energization, the power is even greater. The damage to Superman is also stronger. Equip kryptonite weapons on your armor. Conqueror Kong, flew in front of Li Yan. Stop it. Kryptonians. Apparently, he took Li Yan, as a surviving Kryptonian in some universe. Li Yan did not explain to Kong the Conqueror. As soon as the sight of heat is hot, it will be blasted over. The Conqueror propped up his hands, a barrier wrapped him up. Antimatter Barrier Generator. This is one of the many future technologies mastered by Kong the Conqueror. This antimatter barrier generator can provide powerful protection for a huge spaceship. And condensed to such a small size. Its protective power is obviously hundreds of times stronger. See heat vision blocked. Li Yan was not too surprised. Tens of millions of temperatures can evaporate any substance. But the protective shield made of pure energy can temporarily resist it. However, the consumption of energy is very huge. For example, using electromagnetic force to restrain the energy released by nuclear fusion. Seeing his own anti-matter barrier, blocking that extremely terrifying heat sight. Kong the Conqueror breathed a sigh of relief. The intelligence core in the battle suit has sounded an alarm. Antimatter energy is rapidly being consumed. After 10 seconds, the antimatter energy is exhausted. G. 8. 7. Conqueror Kang's eyes widened instantly. This is antimatter energy. On his battle armor, in the antimatter barrier generator. Those stored antimatter energy. It is enough for a battleship to experience 10 high intensity battles. Consumed. But, under Li Yan's hot gaze, I couldn't hold it for half a minute. Impossible. How can Superman's heat vision be so terrifying? How long have you been in the sun? Kong the Conqueror was full of disbelief. He shouted frantically. At the same time, the space shifter on the battle suit activates. One second before the barrier shattered. Conqueror Kong, was transferred by space. Clever, he didn't have time to set it up. Instead, the default location is chosen. Not far behind him, in the command hall of the fortress. Boom. Lost the blocking of the antimatter barrier. The golden heat site is unstoppable. In an instant, Zhang Kang's fortress evaporated a large corner. Successfully transferred. Kang's face was full of luck. But it was followed by fear and anger. The kryptonite weapon that was just added was aimed at Li Yan. Whoosh. Whizzing. A green, cobblestone energy cannon. Fly towards Li Yan. At Li Yan's speed, chopping is as easy as breathing. However, he wanted to see Kang's desperate eyes. Looking at Li Yan, he didn't move, letting the kryptonite energy bombard him. Kang's eyes were full of excitement. Go to hell with me. Search the entire multi-universe, I will completely erase you from the multi-universe. Kong said happily. Huh, you. A contemptuous voice sounded. Kang's angry curses stopped abruptly. He looked forward in shock. After the green energy dissipates. Li Yan's figure was still there. Nothing has changed. Impossible. This is kryptonite energy. No kryptonian can survive the energy of kryptonite intact. Kong went a little crazy. So, who told you that I'm a Kryptonian? Li Yan let go, the rest of the small trash. After playing for so long, it's time to get rid of the real master. Fly into the command hall. He grabbed Kong by the neck. You are doomed to fail. In the multi-universe, among countless you, only one person succeeded. He is from the universe I am in. That Kong, he not only killed all the Kangs. He also established the Time Variation Authority to prevent the birth of other timelines. Without timelines, there is no multi-universe. He basically erased your existence. What do you mean, murder? Conqueror Kang's eyes widened, he couldn't even feel the suffocation. Compare, say, to being killed by an enemy. The most unacceptable thing for Kong is to be killed by himself. In the competition between oneself and oneself, a complete failure. No. Impossible. He labored, the last of his breath. Li Yan just smiled. Hold it hard. Kong imprisoned in the quantum universe. The dead cannot die again. Li Yan floated above the sky. He knew that no one in the quantum universe could understand what he said. Under the bright golden light, Kong the Conqueror spent more than 10 years. The empire that was built with great effort. Completely disappear in the quantum universe. After killing a Kong, Li Yan was in a very good mood. For Kang's energy core, Li Yan didn't take away the idea either. He doesn't have PIM particles and can't fix them. 
Li Yan crushed the quantum gem and disappeared into the quantum universe. Half an hour later, Janet came here. Watching, Kang's empire disappears. Janet sat down on the ground. Kong is dead. Ha ha ha. Kong is dead. Janet exclaimed excitedly. This news spread throughout the entire quantum universe in a very short period of time. Countless people are cheering, celebrating, at the same time, singing the praises of the man who saved the quantum universe. In the empty, Kang's fortress location, a statue that is far larger than Kang's fortress was erected here. This statue, overlooking the earth, in the eyes, shoots the golden light. And Kong and his empire were annihilated under this golden light. Believers of God, at a universe. Time star. This is a special place outside the flow of time. Discovered by Kong, and then set up a base. Here, is the multi-universe, where countless health gather. Here, they are not affected by the flow rate of time, allowing them to enter any point in time. The guy who was exiled is dead. Iron Kong said. Are you sure he's dead? Pharaoh Kong 293 opened his mouth. If it was fake news, I wouldn't call you here either. Steel Kong. He didn't die in your hands, you must be very angry. Pharaoh Kong sneered. None of us could, kill him. In the dark, Immortal Kong, lie. But he did. Immortal Kong waved his hand, and the deck in front of him opened. A magnificent timeline appeared in front of them. They've started to touch the multi-universe. If you let them develop. Very likely, we'll take away everything we've built. We must hurry up. Steel Kong, looked at Pharaoh Kong. I saw the murderous intent in each other's eyes. Although they are all Kong. But every Kong is a competitor. Kill all other Kangs and become the only Kong in the multi-universe. It is their fate. Immortal Kong closed the deck. The magnificent light emitted by the timeline was blocked. Immortal Kong, Iron Kong, Pharaoh Kong. He is the elder of Kong Council. How many people did you call? Immortal Kong asked. Pharaoh Kong said. Everyone. The three of them walked to the huge square. Here, there are already tens of thousands of Kong. There are also countless Kong, constantly coming from the multi-universe. The time and space gates one by one, do not open and then close. See the three elders Kong. Those ordinary health. Some are human. Some are aliens with strange shapes. And Zerg Kong. Alien Kong wait. All Kong, see the three powerful elders Kong. Call out excitedly. Quiet. Immortal Kong shouted. The whole venue fell silent instantly. Everyone, the guy who tried to kill all of us, and succeeded, killed Genghis Khan, Magic Kong, and was exiled. He was killed. Someone dared to kill Kong. Immortal Kong suddenly roared. In his eyes, there is a strong and substantial anger. Kong is the only one who can kill. Can you allow Kong to be killed by others? Immortal Kong questioned loudly, all Kong. Cannot. Cannot. The roar of mountains and tsunami-like sound waves drowned the place. A smile appeared on the corner of Immortal Kang's mouth. I believe that the person who killed Kong will be killed by us. I never doubted that. But Thanos' destiny has not yet been cast. We must wait. However, we can provide strength for his enemies. I chose a blue star guy, Nick Fury, and he's going to be us. Weapons against Kong Slayers. Kang's Damocles base, a sword-shaped spaceship, appeared quietly in the orbit of the blue star. Nick Fury plus Damocles base equals Heavenly Sword game. Who are you? Nick Fury watched, in his own home, a compatriot who suddenly appeared. The same braised eggs, the same bald head. This mysterious stranger. Wearing a red suit full of classical design, future battle armor. Bloody Centurion Kong. Because everyone has the same skin color, Nick Fury is vigilant, but not afraid. Bloody Centurion Kong looked at his fellow clan in front of him. I come from a time and space a thousand years later. Scarlet Centurion Kong spoke. In our time, everyone knows a history. Sun Crisis. Nick Fury's expression changed. He didn't think that the Sun Crisis was an eternal fireball in the sky. What went wrong? And out of the real sun. It can be referred to by the sun. Just one person. Sun God. Eastern Emperor Tai. Patronus of the East. Dragon Knight. Many titles are just his name and his real name, Li Yan, that, the person he wished to kill right away. Nick Fury didn't speak, but listened carefully, this man from the future. The guardian sun god of the east. 
The people of the ancient eastern country used the fictional name of the ancient emperor of heaven as his code name. Eastern Emperor Taiyi. The existence whose real name is Li Yan. Bloody Centurion Kong said seriously. He will collect six infinite gems. Have the power to destroy the entire universe. He extended his claws to the multi-universe. 11. Be the murderer of hundreds of multi-universes. And, he will enslave countless hundreds of cosmic armies. Until all the multi-universes unite to completely wipe him out. In our history, he caused this catastrophe. It's called, Sun Crisis. Nick Fury finished listening. He clenched his fist tightly. His face was full of excitement. I knew it. He will be the one who destroys the universe. I was right, haha. Ha. Nick Fury on this self-proclaimed, man from the future. There was no longer any doubt. He firmly believed that his compatriots would not deceive him. Especially, on such a big issue. What am I waiting for? Nick Fury asked expectantly. He believed that his fellow clan would come from the future and would definitely bring him weapons to deal with Li Yan. Or method. Sure enough, the first sentence of the Scarlet Centurion made Nick Fury's blood boil. I'll bring you a star warship that can be called a powerful starship after a thousand years. Ship of Damocles. You can, use it as your base. On it, there are not only intelligent robots of the future, but also countless, powerful technologies of the future. Nick Fury, clenched his fists tightly. What's this? Heavenly pie. No. It's a flat peach that fell from the sky. It will still bloom for 9,000 years, bear fruit for 9,000 years, and mature after another 9,000 years. Purple peach. Nick Fury, full of mind, is a word. Scent. He firmly believes that a thousand years of technological development is enough to make up for the huge gap in personal strength. Scarlet Centurion Kong, watching excited Nick Fury. A trace of satisfaction flashed in his eyes. Nick Fury, this is the guy they picked. Because of the history of the multi-universe, tell them. Nick Fury, with this ability. After being excited, Nick Fury suddenly said. Since you can travel through time, you can give me such a powerful battleship. Why, not kill him yourself? Bloody Centurion Kong sighed and said. It's not that we don't want to, but we can't. You don't understand the power of time. Those who fool time will eventually be fooled by time. If I'm on your time, kill him. Actually, it just leads to a new timeline. And on the correct timeline, he's still alive. In the future, his strength is too strong. He can easily see the timeline and observe the multi-universe. Once he finds out, I will go back to the past from the future and erase his timeline and be born. He intervenes in time, thereby erasing this emerging timeline bifurcation. He is still him, but I am dead in the past. But you are different. You are the person at this point in time. And in the future, you will also get the mastership of the Damocles ship due to a certain accident. I just asked you to advance the time of obtaining the Damocles ship by a few years. There is very little interference with the timeline, and no new timeline branches will be generated. Once you kill him, then he died on the correct timeline. Once someone prevents his death, time will set everything right. Nick Fury, got it. He took a deep breath and said. Don't worry, I will definitely kill him. The bloody centurion nodded. On the ship of Damocles, there are two technologies. 1. Sentinel technology from a certain multi-universe. This technology is based on Mystique's superpower principle, and it is a powerful intelligent robot produced after many iterations. It can target the super ability of the mutant, targeted, and use the restrained ability. In that multi-universe, mutant was nearly wiped out. Professor X and Magneto sent Wolverine's consciousness back to the past, changed history, and avoided the destruction of mutant. And the second technology also comes from a certain multi-universe. This technology is a super artificial intelligence machine made by Tianyanwe. He can, copy the super abilities of all the super abilities he sees. Even if it is Superman, ability can be copied. Kong, don't know Li Yan's true strength. But Kong who was able to kill that, was exiled by them. Inevitably, the strength is terrifying. Therefore, they tried their best to provide Nick Fury with the power to restrain Li Yan. First support. The ship of Damocles and two highly targeted robots were sent. It doesn't matter, he's a mutant or a Kryptonian. We have all provided you with a targeted method. Nick Fury, excitedly said. Number 7. Very good. 
In response to his threat, we formed the Godslayer Alliance. One is studying how to restrain him. You sent us a magic weapon to defeat the enemy. Nick Fury was so touching. Still my compatriots, reliable. That, he thought he could handle Li Yan's Captain Marvel. For the sake of love, it is enough to ignore the threat of Li, the level universe. At the critical moment, you still have to rely on your compatriots. Let's go, I'll take you aboard and transfer control to you. The Scarlet Centurion, Kong, opened a portal. In an instant, the two came to the Blue Star orbit. But the ship of Damocles in an invisible state. Nick Fury, it's not the first time seeing a spaceship. But it is the first time to enter. Here, full of futuristic sci-fi style. Many intelligent robots, in appearance, are a layer of bionic skin. Looks like normal people. Busy, maintaining the operation of this warship. Scarlet Centurion Kong, introduced to Nick Fury. This battleship, the most powerful weapon, is a star destroyer. The high-energy laser beam it emits can directly destroy the core of a planet. I think, under this star destroyer cannon, even he can't talk. Nick Fury was extremely excited. In his eyes, he seemed to see the scene of Li Yan being completely annihilated under this cannon. The Scarlet Centurion, Kong, did not introduce those auxiliary weapons. Weapons that cannot harm Li Yan, compared to Nick Fury, will not listen. He introduced a silver pistol to Nick Fury. It's a Pym pistol. As the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., you should know about the existence of Ant-Man. The ammunition fired by this pistol is Pym particles. And this kind of Pym particle is an extremely unstable defective product. The person or object being attacked will suffer irreversible destruction because the body part is shrunk and the original part remains. Nick Fury cherished, touching the gun. Came to the control deck of the battleship. After a series of biological information collection. The control of the battleship was transferred to Nick Fury. Definitely, the highest control right belongs to Kong. Finally, came the highlight of this time. People. Anti-super body Yamojuo. Here, it's not just complete manufacturing materials. Also, entities. Sentinel, up to 6 meters. It looked like a giant in black armor. His whole body is made of special materials and does not contain the slightest metal. So, Magneto can't handle it at all. His whole body is covered with a structure similar to feather scales, which is similar to mystique. Relying on this structure, they can change their body shape. And super ability. They have wisdom, can find the enemy's weakness, and share with each other, unite and cooperate. They can, copy the abilities of all mutants they come into contact with, and save and share them with other sentinels. The head can be released even more, similar to the laser energy area of Cyclops. The sentinel in front of me is constantly engaged in a virtual battle. Originally, more than a dozen powerful mutant abilities have been replicated. However, the anti-super body Yamazuo cannot be demonstrated. Before copying the super ability, the anti-super body Yamazuo was not as powerful as the sentinel. But once the super ability is copied, especially the big super ability, the anti-super body Yamazuo, even a dozen sentinels, can't deal with it. Nick Fury's new, ready to try. Bloody Centurion Kong, said. It's time for me to go back to the future. This is a space teleportation bracelet, you wear it on your wrist. You can open the portal on the blue star at will. Nick Fury couldn't be happier. This time, he is equivalent to a wave of fat. The Scarlet Centurion, Kong, really left. They have bigger plans. He believes that with their Kang's support, Nick Fury will definitely be able to eliminate Li Yan. Let Kong, no more threats. Nick Fury, nice to hang around the ship. I understand, the power of this future warship. His confidence in destroying Li Yan has grown even stronger. Wealth and honor do not return to their hometowns, like walking in brocade clothes at night. Nick Fury, returned to Blue Star. He called a meeting of the Godslayer Alliance. Development over this period of time. The Godslayer Alliance has grown even stronger. Even, the Alliance of Godslayers has joined a living god. No god. Wonder Woman, Diana. This is all thanks to Batman. Because of Li Yan, he didn't stare at the Superman who was flying all over the sky and saving people everywhere. Rather, that wantonly snatched the national property of Eagle Sauce. In the face of the alien crisis, it doesn't help at all. A guy who is regarded as a god by the East. 
If my grandfather doesn't find a way to restrain Li Yan, he won't be able to sleep well. This is not the time to look for restraint. In his mailbox, there is an extra piece of information. Wonder Woman who was young and beautiful during World War I. Aquaman who lives in the sea and possesses extraordinary power. The Flash who can move at the speed of lightning. The one in the movie version. It's too early, Cyborg hasn't been born yet. After Batman's efforts. In the League of Godslayers, he has only brought Wonder Woman, Diana. Diana can join, or the name of the Godslayer. During the First World War, the half-brother she tried her best to stop. God of War Achilles. It was he who caused the outbreak of World War I. Diana didn't like all the guys called gods. As soon as Batman invited, he joined. By Zhao. The Flash didn't join the Godslayer League, but agreed to join his small group. It's just one Aquaman short, don't eat soft and hard. At this meeting, Ron N., the head of the Super Investigation Department, told about the generals that Li Yan helped to make. Lend him the power gem and defeat Superman. Making Mars the new Krypton. Let Blue Star, one more, everyone is Superman's terrible neighbor. Everyone, I already have a solution to your worries. Nick Fury, said confidently. Director Nick Fury, could it be that you, S.H.I.E.L.D., have unearthed some prehistoric technology? General Ross, tit for tat. It is also possible that it is the technology of an alien civilization. General Sam Lois, of course, is on the same side as General Ross. Nick Fury knows people in the military and is envious and jealous. He proudly said, it is indeed a powerful technology. But it is not prehistoric, nor is it an alien civilization, but a human from the future. Nick Fury suddenly opened his hands and opened the portal. Everyone, welcome to the new headquarters of our Godslayer Alliance. A human super battleship from a thousand years in the future. Ship of Damocles. Everyone was stunned. Looking at the extremely sci-fi scene behind the portal. Nick Fury is the first to step through the portal. Everyone followed suit. The intelligent bionic robots here, after seeing Nick Fury, said one after another. Welcome back Captain. President Yingjong frowned. His majestic president is not the owner of this future warship. Ross and General Lois exchanged glances. Suddenly, the alarm sounded. Mutants detected. Sentinel activated. Tall Sentinel, striding forward. The face is opened, and the red laser energy is contained but not emitted. Aligned with Professor X and Magneto. Magneto is old though. But his strength is still at its peak. When I saw that sentinel. Subconsciously, Magneto used his ability. Control the metal on the robot body. But, among mutant, he and Charles are the most famous. Sentinel, is for mutant. How could it be possible to use metal materials? Even this battleship was considered when it was built. Will he face the power user who controls the magnetic force? So, there's some futuristic technology for that. Like, future Iron Man's anti-magneto armor. No metal. Magneto is terrified. Look quickly at Charles. The two of them are too familiar with each other. Charles, it became clear immediately that Magneto was out of control. He nodded slightly. If Nick Fury doesn't stop, he will control Nick Fury's consciousness. Nick Fury also didn't expect that the Sentinel would be dispatched suddenly. Sentry. Back off. Nick Fury ordered. Sentinel facial recovery, red laser energy dissipated. He backed up and walked to the original place. Nick Fury explained to the crowd. This is Sentinel, from the multi-universe. It was developed by a human force in a certain multi-universe, specifically for mutant. They have high intelligence, know how to cooperate, and can find the weakness of mutant from the battle. At the same time, they can copy the super ability of the mutant they come into contact with, and share it with their companions. Can be explained with Nick Fury more. Charles and Magneto, the uglier faces. With the help of Charles's ability, the two are communicating with each other. Charles, is he targeting Li Yan, or is he targeting our mutant? Magneto's face was ugly. He felt deep malice. Professor X, why not? Didn't he join the Godslayer Alliance because he wanted the support of mutant from many forces? Eric, if this sentinel, once mass-produced. So in the end, it's our mutants who are unlucky. Li Yan is the most powerful mutant ever. I think it's impossible for them to allow another talent as strong as Li Yan from our mutant. 
Charles finally stood on the perspective of mutant and thought about the 320 questions. Magneto is happy. However, he couldn't be happy. For the first time, he felt that he was a waste. He and Professor X, the two most powerful mutants under Li Yan. In front of Sentinel, there are two weak chickens. Any foot can be trampled to death. After being a strong person for a lifetime, who can accept it? After Nick Fury finished speaking, he also found that Teacher X and Magneto's faces were ugly. He knows why. Now, Charles, can he control Li Yan through his mind ability? Still an unknown. Therefore, he did not dare to break with mutant yet. Professor, don't worry. This sentinel is only aimed at Li Yan. Once he is resolved, or proven, sentinel is useless to him. I will personally supervise and completely destroy all sentinels and manufacturing materials. Professor X, and Magneto, said reassurance. But in my heart, I just scolded. I believe you ghost. If he really uses sentinel against us, I will be Li Yan's father-in-law. Eric, consciously, spoke to Charles. Magneto, who has a beautiful daughter, is so confident. His daughter is Ms. Polaris who is stronger than his magnetic field control and masters the electromagnetic force. A trace of helplessness flashed in Professor X's eyes. He does have a son, and the son is still very powerful. There are many personalities, and each personality has a powerful variant ability. But now, he found out. Give birth to a son, have a fart. Nick Fury, Dunno, because of Sentinel. The two backbone forces of the Godslayer Alliance have a different heart. President Eagle Sauce, General Ross, General Lois, etc. Their eyes flickered. Mutant, one is a problem they can't solve. But now, it seems that there is a way. These robots. It's just a ballot. Nick Fury, sensed that the situation was not friendly. He quickly changed the subject. Everyone, compared to Sentinel, I think the anti-super body Yamojuo is the real solution to the threat of Li Yan. Following Nick Fury's voice, Yamojo, the anti-superior body, came out. He has the same body shape as an adult. If it is wrapped with a layer of bionic skin, it is a bionic machine, a GFF robot. However, Yamajo is an AI robot with extremely high intelligence. The distance from the birth of self-awareness is not far away. When he walked in front of everyone, everyone was taken aback. That's it. Looking at such a thin robot, can it deal with Li Yan? That is more powerful than Superman. Nick Fury glanced at everyone present. Yamazo, activate the super ability copy mode. The anti-super body Yamazuo's eyes scanned all the people present. Five superhero symbols appeared on the chest one after another. And overlapped. Professor X. Magneto. Wonder Woman. Batman. Martian Manhunter. Everyone looked at the overlapping signs. But they all looked suspiciously at the people around them. On the bright side, most of their Godslayer Alliance are ordinary people without super abilities. Only, Professor X, Magneto, and Wonder Woman have super abilities, and Batman doesn't have super abilities either, he just has super abilities. It is also acceptable to be recognized by the anti-super body Yamazuo. But who is the extra one? The people present are either people with super abilities, or the person in charge of one of the forces. Facing a strong enemy like Li Yan. Didn't they work together to defeat him together? You hide your super ability, what is your intention? President Eagle Saw suddenly ordered Nick Fury. Fury, let Armaho, point out the guy who's hiding his identity. Nick Fury also gritted his teeth. Yes. Amaho, stare at whose ability you copied. The anti-super Amedro, wasn't the one who got hit by the Flash's lightning. The one that caused damage to the core control system and got rid of the shackles. Under the core control system, Armazo carries out the orders of Nick Fury. Yamazuo, the anti-super body, raised his hand and pointed at everyone. Ron sighed inwardly. He didn't expect that after hiding for so long, he couldn't help it now. Pointed it by Almajo's finger. Everyone stared at him intently. Super Check Department. This is Eagle Sauce's own Super Ability Control Department. The person in charge turned out to be a person with a super ability. The biggest drug lord in the world is as ridiculous as the global anti-drug ambassador. Who are you? Hiding in the Super Investigation Department, what is the purpose? Without waiting for President Eagle Sauce to speak, Nick Fury snapped. 
At this time, Yamazuo, the anti-super body, said. Warning, the other party is not a blue star human. Warning, the other party is not human. Everyone's eyes flashed. Nick Fury yelled. Do it. Anti-super body Yamazuo, attack Ron N. General Ross and others protected the president and stepped aside. Wonder Woman and Batman, also attacked Ron. Boom. Sentinel came with heavy strides. Although Rong N is not a mutant, there are more than a dozen kinds of mutant abilities stored in Sentinel. Colossus, Burning Man, Iceman, Sunspot, Juggernaut. They are all very powerful abilities. Magneto pushed Charles away from the battlefield. With this action, Ron N realized how powerful Omazo was. There is still trouble. Except for his proud telepathy ability. The rest of the abilities are perfectly controlled by Yamojuo. Super Strength. Super Speed. Super Defense. Flight. Hot Sight. Almaho Copy, Martian Manhunter, all physical and energy abilities. Plus, Subjanus has the ability of Batman 10 Masters. Ron resisted with difficulty. Gradually, he could no longer maintain his human form. He can only let go of the disguise. Revealing his Martian Manhunter form. What? He's an alien. Everyone was shocked. One by one, the teeth itch with hatred. A green alien, hiding in their special department minister. Became in charge. Irony. Great conspiracy. President Eagle Sauce roared. Catch him. We must torture him to find out his purpose. Almaho constantly used Ron's ability to deal with him. Sentinel, attack with fire for a while, attack with ice for a while. Either become a body of steel and be tough with him. Or, unleash terrifying energy to burn him. Wonder Woman is also difficult to deal with. Even though, Ron is the Martian version of Superman. It's becoming too hard to resist. Ron was already thinking of quitting. In Sentinel in Colossus form, when calling. Ron pretends to be beaten. But the moment he installed the spaceship wall. Stealth ability is used. His figure disappeared in the eyes of everyone. At the same time, he used the virtual calendar. The body breaks away from the physical form of existence. He quietly left the battleship. Reluctantly returned to Blue Star. Where are people? Nick Fury asked, frowning. Yamojuo cast X vision, infrared vision, electromagnetic spectrum vision. These come from the supervision ability of the Martian duo. There was no sign of Ron N. He has escaped from the battleship. Amojo said. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Sentry, Almaho, you can step back. Nick Fury said. However, everyone's faces were very ugly. Another Superman. The ability displayed by Integrate and Yamojuo. So much like Superman. The point is, Ron is still an alien. On Mars, a Kryptonian full of Superman will be born. Empire. Could it be that there is another alien civilization full of Superman that has already set its sights on Blue Star? However, the powerful anti-super body Yamazuo. But left a deep impression in the hearts of everyone. President Eagle Saw said. Fury, one produces Sentinel and overtakes Avatron. General Lois, I entrust you to select mutants and super abilities. Let Sentinel and anti-super body Yamojo, copy their ability. Compared with people, it is clear that the president believes in these cold robots more. Once we have hundreds of anti-super Amohos, we will no longer worry about any threats. President Yingjong, full of confidence. Nick Fury, naturally and constantly said yes. Return to Blue Star. But President Eagle Saw summoned all the God Slayers except Nick Fury. Head of all official forces. Ship of Damocles. In the hands of Nick Fury. Why not, hang high. The one on President Eagle Saw's head. Sharp, the Sword of Damocles. Xavier School for Gifted Youth. Principal Room. Magneto paced back and forth. Eric, what exactly do you want? Charles looked at his longtime friend in front of him. It's been too many years, and I don't come here anymore. Charles, I am also participating in this Godslayer Alliance, the more insecure I feel. Look at today, even the Sentinels against our mutants are out. You have also seen its power with your own eyes. Once someone targets us with this thing, we will be lambs to be slaughtered. Magneto felt so insecure for the first time. Eric, what do you want to do? Charles, also insecure. No matter how powerful his spiritual energy is. Can't control a soulless robot either. It can be said that in the face of Sentinel, telepathy, control these abilities. 
It's all useless. Charles, among your students, is there anyone who can open the portal? I'm going quietly to the east, to find Li Yan. Magneto made up his mind. Charles was silent for a moment. Said. Li Yan is a mutant after all. I believe he even has the ambition to dominate the world. It won't be too difficult for us. But, those ordinary people regard us as different. Eric, my goals are too big. I let Jean take my place and Nightcrawler Kurt, send you too. Charles reached out and grabbed Eric's hand. Eric, the future fate of our mutant depends on you. This makes Eric, as if back, the two have just met. Those sweet years when we dealt with Hei Huangxiao together. Adding up the two grades, the old man who has to catch up with the history of the eagle sauce. Hugging tightly at the moment. Soon, Jean and Nightcrawler arrive. Charles used telepathy ability to capture everything that happened on the Damocles ship. Passed to Chin. Jin, I've been wrong all along. We and Li Yan are both mutants. We don't have any conflicts. Rather, he should be the one we rely on for recognition. This time you go to the east with Eric, you must express my apology and sincere attitude. We mutant group, we intend to regard him as king. What Charles said shocked Chin and Eric. The founding of mutant is Eric's dream all along. Charles's words are completely opposite to his previous ideas. Even Chin wondered if someone controlled Charles's consciousness. But how is this possible? Charles is the top spiritual master. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.